Yes, Kinder. Thank you so much. Um, hi, Anthony. How you doing? How you been? How you been? How you been? Um, Ghost Pop, thank you so much for the twenty dollars. I appreciate you. Um, I see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> um, all right, let's start it. Let's start it. Okay, so when we find out who our daddy is, we gonna mess him up, right? Like we gonna rough him up. Like we gonna be disrespectful with it, right? Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many open wounds. Yeah, that's right. Allison was like, I don't care if you ever find out the truth. I don't want to investigate anymore. I, I like I cannot imagine there being this huge family secret and not wanting to get to the bottom of it. Like, I can't imagine it. Allison, wake up. a nightmare can happen to a nicer person i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm you know what i'm gonna start the slate clean maybe allison isn't as bad as she is for me you know what? let's let's start let, let's start over with allison Them to make a horror game. I want Don't Nod to make a horror game. You killed your mother. You will end up like me. Yo, I hate when I have nightmares and they seem so real. I hate when I have nightmares and they seem so real. Or like, y'all ever have them kind of nightmares or dreams where like someone's trying to hurt you? Or like, yeah, they do hurt you. I mean, you wake up and you have to realize it wasn't real, but you're still mad at them anyway. truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood. Yo, what is this? This is gonna be the best chapter, isn't it? This is gonna be the best chapter, isn't it? It's you, but with better makeup. <laughs> I'm toxic as fuck. Man. 
I'm toxic. You killed me. <laughs> you killed me! Tell me why. Inheritance. I cannot wait to find out who the baby daddy is. Do not spoil me in the chat. I have been waiting on like my fingertips and toes and ankles, like waiting to, to play the rest of this game. Like never has I have I played a game where there's been a mystery that I've been so keen to solve. All right, y'all, it's starting. I should probably eat something. God, I feel so weak. It's starting, y'all. We haven't Eddie been in this room yet. I was concerned when I came home last night. I should have talked to him about what happened. But what the hell was I supposed to say? I haven't heard him play in a while. Not us going through his room. This is personal. That's okay. We can read it. My dearest son, I know I'm not getting better this time. So I wanted to write a few things down for you. I'm sorry to be leaving you so soon. I had you late in my life, but I still thought there would be more time. It makes me happy to know you will have the clan when I'm gone and you will have your auntie to look after you. You have always seemed to know when it was time to leave. From the time you were a year old, you knew which shoes belonged on which feet. And you used to bring me mine whenever I was getting ready to go. Okay. You're doing too much now, sis. <laughs> you have, uh, uh, I won't need you to fetch me my shoes. I know you'll help me on my way. Your strength has always been to accept what is. Okay. I'm so proud of you for joining the police force. Oh, so his daddy's dying or his mom is dying. Oh, she says, don't lose your cultural values. A secret keeper in her secret keep. Maybe there's something in the book of goblins that'll help me figure this out. Maybe there's... Allison is going through her trauma phase. Um, Playing as her is so crazy when you think about last stream. It's the way I don't like her. It's the way, I mean, but you know what? We started over. We started over. Something in the we won't, book of uh, goblins that'll help me figure this out. Okay, so all I see are a bunch of eyeballs on here. Is that what y'all are seeing? The goblin earns their voice. So why is it that I'm on the last chapter of this game and I'm only just now noticing the symbols on here? I feel like that would have came in handy. I feel like had I known that, that would have came in handy. Looks like this is coin operated. Okay. Looks like this is coin operated. So let's find some coins. Let's find some coins. Now that we've gone through all of his shit. Clean slate, Sadie's. Okay, here's the thing, right? Don't think Eddie's worn this since that terrible blind date two years ago. This is the epitome of a struggle suit. You hear me? This is the kind of suit of like an assistant principal substitute. Like he's the assistant principal, but he's also the substitute. All right, per. We got a few more Still things to go through. I can't believe Eddie never told me he was paying for fireweed. Yeah, he's the one that was paying for Tyler. So I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. Hmm. Ooh. Something's not right. What is this? I need to get all that paperwork together. Maybe that'll help me focus and clear my head. I can't really eat anything right now. All right, paperwork. I got you, sis. What's the paperwork supposed to be for y'all? file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. We were family, Allison. How could you do this to me? 
Who's Mary? Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. ID and pay stops. I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. ID and pay stubs. I wish you could just change your mood as easily as Okay, I'm guessing they're in her room. Why do I feel like the fact that this is starting off on the slower side is luring me into like a false sense of security? I told him I wanted to stop messing with those memories, but he wouldn't listen. Oh, so it's Tyler's fault. <gasps> Sister, we look out for each other. That's what you said. But you don't mean what you say, do you? They're just words. You left me, Allison, all alone and scared. <laughs> He's not wrong. She did. I can't deal with this right now. This isn't real. He isn't real. Oh, my good sis is freaking out. Okay, where's your ID? That's not what I meant to click. Not here. All right. Who do y'all like better, Tyler or Allison? All right, it's not that. Check this drawer right quick. Not here. Where is it? If you don't know where your ID is, why am I expected to know where it is? Is the music still playing? There's no way the music is still playing. Okay, there we go. Wish I could just book a one-way ticket to the other side of the world. Hey stubs, perfect, got it. That was that was definitely your pay stub. Was it not? She's annoying me, bro. Where would your ID be? Um Hi Tyler. I know we haven't talked by phone in a while, and I think that's mostly my fault, so I'm sorry. I've been so wrapped up in, my, up in my own problems. Sometimes I forget you aren't that far away. Senior year has been the worst ever. I dated this guy for a few months. Bobby, hopefully you don't remember him. Only to realize he was a total jerk who didn't give a shit about me. I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out or why I let it take over my entire school year. Honestly, I feel so stupid. But I also feel stupid for feeling stupid. Anyway, I think what I'm trying to say is life sucks without you. I miss you. I miss your presence and I miss talking in our voice. Do you want to come to my graduation party next Friday? Nothing amazing. We'll just have dinner with Uncle Eddie and some neighbors. Tessa might stop by. I really, I'd really love it if you were here. I realize now I could just call and invite you. I don't know why I'm writing a letter, but maybe with all the time apart, I've forgotten how to communicate with you. I'm sorry. I hope you can get back. I hope we can get back to where we were someday. Love, Allison. So you didn't mail it? So, so, so you didn't mail it? Interesting. You hope Allison gets a redemption arc? God, where is it? Girl, where is your shit? Where is your stuff, girl? We didn't look everywhere in this room. Every which away. I could do my laundry. You should, nasty. Yeah. Maybe later. All right, so clearly it's not in this room. Okay, and that room doesn't exist. Hmm. He doesn't like this kind of attention, but he really does so much for the community. 
So it's a thank you note to the chief for him rescuing some kids. Yeah, yeah, we get it. You you want us to think that he's a good guy. I get it. The paperwork's not down there. There's no way he's in your uncle's room, right? Marianne, what's going on with you lately? If you need help... Come on, Allison. Don't start. Eddie must have been back and forth to Juno all the time to these shows before he got stuck here taking care of me. Aw, oh, man. She has a lot of, like... self-doubt and, like... Yeah, like... Waffles. Hold up, we're talking about waffles now? Spicy, creamy, crab, hot pot. Ooh, that sounds amazing, actually. One thing y'all don't know about me is your girl Sadie's really enjoys a chowder situation. Like, I've already looked at this, bro, right? To whom it may concern, in regard to her current rental application, I can confirm Miss Allison Ronan has been employed at Vini Vidi Vici's general store since June 2013 and earns a yearly salary of 24000 plus bonuses. Okay. There isn't a tea in the world strong enough to melt away this mood I'm in. Chamomile all day. French toast is better than waffles. Here we go. Coins. Coins, 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 coins. And a wallet. Ah, here's a. Hey. Got it. Got it. This place is never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? You're not my child. My clan deserves better. Wait, hold on, hold on. This Two never things. Happened. It's just brain vomit. Just hold on. Grab your pay stubs so you can get the hell out of here. Hold on. Two things. One, Baron, thank you so much for the raid. If you're on Twitch, please, can we say thank you, Baron? Can I please get a shout out for Baron? How's your day going? And two, is Uncle Eddie our daddy? Is Uncle Eddie our daddy? Cause okay, let's um let's go in go in Uncle Eddie's room with the coin. It wasn't for you. Shh. When's mom coming home? What's wrong with me? Yo, is that stuff that Uncle Eddie said to us? There's no way. Hold on, I'm gonna look at these albums real quick. I wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record. The right song can completely change your mood. Do y'all ever feel that way about music? Like if you, you could be in a really crappy mood, but you put the right song on and all of a sudden it doesn't seem so bad. A secret keeper in her secret keep. Hi, honey. How are you doing, baby? How are you doing? No way. It worked. Two amazing streamers. Y'all go follow Honey and Baron, please. Thank you. 
We got a new collectible. Um. Okay, but where are our paycheck stubs, though? But uh, where are our paycheck subs? Allison, help! Uh, Allison, please. Mad Hunter. There's no. There's okay. If you tell me, I need to. Like the paperwork's not down there. Yo. There's no way Uncle Eddie is the Mad Hunter the whole time. There's no way, right? What if I just. Packed a bag and left. Never, I almost wish the house had burned down last night. Then I'd never have to see it again. Are y'all gonna play this game after I'm done? Is this the kind of game that y'all think y'all would play? Ollie, Ollie, calm down, Allison. Come on, don't freak out on me now, Ollie. Breathe, don't. Please go away. Yo, my good sis is going through it. I wonder what Michael would think about all this. Would he even get it? Who is Michael? Oh. Nope. That's not it. He checks stubs. I'm gonna go upstairs and check her room one more good time. I'm really tired of playing as Allison. I'm just saying, I miss being Tyler. <sighs> so many months of snow boots ahead. I wish I don't have an Xbox. I'm not playing on Xbox. I'm playing on PC. I don't have an Xbox. Um, I've never owned an Xbox. I've ch already checked in here. This game is on sale on Steam for like $4.99 right now between me and you. Here what? What's the option to take that though? Oh my God. Okay. I think I've got everything I need for the application. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Where's that coming from? Where did I leave my phone last night? Ain't nothing good in that basement. Have y'all ever seen the movie Gothica? I don't fuck with basements. Is that young Tyler? Or young Allison. Oh, that's Marianne. Why is she looking at us like that? My dove. Only thieves and monsters hide in the dark. Fly back to the light, Allison. Oh, Lord. Now she's starting to see her dead mama. I, oh, Lord. No, no, no. I cannot deal with you right now. What's it doing here? Why is your phone down here? Yo, I'm getting real creepy vibes from Aunt, hey, Uncle Dee. Eddie. Finally. I was starting to get worried. Why didn't you pick up? Yeah, uh, sorry. I, uh... I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm getting ready right now. That's so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. <sighs> Get it together, Allison. Okay, so Come you on. know how, like, Grab sometimes... The file, get dressed and head out. Or know sometimes it'd be nice to make a gift for D. God, my hands are still shaking. Allison still talks way too much. She still talks way too much. Um, you know how serial killers be like making like they be taking souvenirs whenever they kill somebody? What if we find that in the basement? 
And it was Uncle Eddie the whole time. Uh, Alaska residents only tips of tails must be removed in salmon harvest. That ain't none of our business. Eddie's been too busy to fish lately. I know he's missing it. Is there a head in here? Yo, watch there be a head in here, bro. Freshly severed. I've... Let's make a gift. I'm cutting off her, her little soliloquies, her, her monologues. <laughs> I tried to like her, y'all. I can't do it. I can't do it. She's like that coworker that you be having who's like one more time talking to you before you have to whoop their ass. That's what Allison is for me. She got one more time. My lips feel dry as hell. So we did it. We have the present. I see it in our inventory. Tyler and I should bike around the lake when we've patched things up. You're the, oh my gosh. Ugh, the paint smell in here is kind of overwhelming. Okay. I'm just, I'm just preparing my balloon knot. You should have taken care of yourself first, Marianne. We do, this is a totally different life. Eddie can't cope with getting rid of any of Carol's stuff. I've been pretty grinchy about Christmas since I came here. <laughs> Eddie tries so hard. All right, we've looked at everything, have we not? I miss you, pup. Yeah, we've looked at everything. Okay, let's go. Somebody's at the door. Is it a serial killer? It's, it's giving serial killer. Morning. Hey, it's Allie. Bay. Hey. Hi, guys. It's Bay. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake. Since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. Freezing my butt off out here. Okay, uh, thanks. Is Freshly Tyler severed not around insane. today? We had a fight. Let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. We had a fight. I think we just needed to get out of each other's hair for a little bit. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't trust you. I don't he trust you. He was so happy he was coming home. I don't oh, trust you. Okay. We'll get over it. I don't trust you. I really hope so. <clears throat> so, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just, we really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. Oh, of course, of course. She gets that. You two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. I blame her. There I blame her too. There was a lot of blame to Me, go around. Me, Mercedes. I blame her too. I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he, he's not nearly I don't like so his forgiving, tone. is he? He has been pretty harsh. Especially on Eddie. We both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course. Uh, totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. Why are we talking to him? I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother... Why are you so in our business? He He's was. like, so I heard this. You're talking about a month. I mean, like, why are you in my know. business? Why do you know so much about me? 
I'm sorry, but I, it's I'm giving crazy. suspect number one. Oh, of course. I'll let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. Killer. No one's that happy and jovial all the time. Sorry for abandoning you out there. Pro tip, avoid catching a ride with Tom at all cost. Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep. Hi, Moonshine. And How you exactly doing? exactly what they do to his digestion. Uh, you're free now. Well, he said you don't have to rush back to the Where's Tyler? Store. Where's oh, Tyler? Because I did not plan to. <sighs> I've been overdoing it on double shifts this week. I'm beat. I know the feeling. Help yourself to some waffles if you want. That's Eddie's way of saying I'm worried about you. Oh, that's cute. But I had a ridiculously huge breakfast, so I'm good. Quick question, Grey Squad. You can only have one type of meal for the rest of your life. You can either have breakfast, every meal for the rest of your hey, entire life, lunch, carving wood again? like sandwiches what? and shit. Oh, this. Or dinner. Yeah, like lasagna, steak. That's dope. Why do you get to be so crafty? I mean, I'm, I'm Which not one that baking? crafty. Marianne taught me most of it. Well, I'm impressed. These hands are good for nothing but cooking. I hope the hands do a little bit more. For Tyler's sake. I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? I just feel like cuddling up in front of the TV all day. Dinner, Maybe dinner, finally dinner, binge dinner, that last dinner. season of Witches of Eldom. Then do it. Uh, I gotta drive I'm my also lazy ass dinner. out to have lunch with Dee. Hands down. I could go the rest of my life without having breakfast foods, and I'd be totally fine. I, uh, I've been kind of freaking out on No, you know today. what? I, I'm gonna what pick lunch. Mean? It's hard to describe, but I just lunch. can't calm down. Like you salads, sandwiches, soups. Type shit? Yeah, I would do that. Look, when things get dark, I tell myself that whatever I'm going through will pass. That I'm a great person and my feelings are valid. <sighs> this will pass. I'm a great person. My feelings are valid. We'll work on it, but that's a good start. Your squad. Allison, what's going on? Your squad, just to let you know, this will pass. You're a good person. And uh, what was the other thing? Tyler and I. You were smart. You was night. kind. I you was so was excited worthy. to have him back. But what if 10 years was too much and we're too different? I don't think so. Grilled cheese waffle? You just need get to out. get to know each other again. That's not a thing. There's Start no the way. Is that a thing? Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And a then grilled build cheese up to the waffle big stuff. sandwich? Yeah. That, that, that actually sense. sounds so well, good. Like a Belgian oh, waffle? Totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it Not all out. Not my mouth watering. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck up factories. You're right. That's, yes. You just need to relax. The F is for fucked up factory. Not family. So, maybe this will cheer you up. <laughs> I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. Pretty cool, right? Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. Honey, you're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? <laughs> oh, God. Allison? Allison, look at me. You need you to okay? solve the mystery just... so your mama will stop haunting your um, ass. I need to. I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. What's going on? Honesty. God, everything? My anxiety is through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick and... I see dead people. Seeing things. Memories. 
of Marianne and me and Tyler when we were kids and, and Eddie and... It used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but... Now I see them everywhere. Shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. That's intense. I'm sorry, has... Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but nothing exactly like this. Cunder. <laughs> Come here, Allie. I hear you. Okay. I hear you. I'm dying at that comment. If one of my children took a scissor to my back, I would pop up on the daily. Every day, one o'clock lunchtime. What's up, bitch? You still stab me. No. I think What's good? You went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah. I, I've looked into therapists a few times, but they're all so far away and so expensive. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno, I don't want to bail on you. I'm um, okay. Therapy ain't that damn, Look, damn I know expensive. I you hate letting people down, but you got to put your own oxygen mask on first. You're gonna get at least a hundred grand for this house. I get that. You can afford and to so move in therapy. Thanks. I promise. I'll try. Y'all are going to an apartment, a two-bedroom to apartment. House today, but Tyler's crashing. You'll be there. fine. Not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there. See how she's we like. Am I gonna move into an to apartment talk. or get mental health for support? Like, bitch, both. Uh, sure. Let's be optimistic. That'll work. Yeah, maybe that could work. I hope he'll talk to you though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? Hey, something yeah, tells me Tyler's about to open up in a whole new way. Yo. You're just looking for an excuse to go see oh, Bay. I understand. I'm gonna be late for my lunch with D. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure. Thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. The only man I trust in this I mean, game, other than Tyler, is Michael. So I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I mean, she ain't wrong. The U.S. healthcare system is expensive. It's wild how we don't have. <laughs> Never mind. We talked about healthcare the other day. Let's not. Here, I'll take subject suggestions. I'll take subject suggestions. Is this is like the last YouTube stream of the year? Anybody got a topic? We could talk about the scandals that happened this year. We could talk about Kiki hey, Palmer. Hey, Gate. beautiful. You okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I uh, haven't been sleeping well. Uh, here I How am. How is that the first thing out your mouth? I love you, right? Aww. Like, hey, girl, well, I missed you. A girl's lunch anyway. You look like a fucking Just troll. Just give me five minutes so I can finish Wild. off this paperwork. Oh no, rush. Wild. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler. I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. Cool. So this is an anti- Morning. Hola, Miss Ronan. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Okay. Romero must I'm have frozen them over the summer. Oh yes, she takes her cooking seriously. What's the, okay, Very seriously. two things. What's up with my man's haircut? What do we call this? It's like, it's like the kid and kid and play if kid was in recession. Like this is an, <laughs> this is a house party 
inflation haircut. What the fuck is this haircut, bro? What the fuck is this haircut, bro? I'm going to call this the pencil top 2000. No, no. <laughs> He's a Brillo pad boy. <laughs> you hear me? Okay, second thing I was gonna say, you could not pay me to eat a berry cobbler. The only, first of all, I don't like hot fruit. I don't like cooked fruit. I need to drop this off in Eddie's mail slot. The only cobbler I will eat is peach cobbler or mango cobbler possibly. And even then I scoop out every piece of fruit and throw it away and just eat the crust. Same thing with apple pie. I just eat the crust. Fight me. Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Just needed to drop off some paperwork with Eddie. The chief's busy right now, but you could leave him in his mail slot. You said if flan top head ass, flan top head ass. Not his haircut looks like flan. His hair looks like a, a well done steak. His head, his hair looks like a pothole. <laughs> like, bitch, you look like a traffic disturbance. All right. What else we got? What else we got? Is anyone ever going to clean these up? Expired ass cookies. Love that for us. God, I hope no one got hurt. Days without bear sighting. Um, what we got? Wash our hands. Are you going to use soap? How did I know? How did I know that Allison was not going to use soap? She took her dirty ass hands, flashed them under some water for a second, and then touched her face. And then she touched her face. Me this morning. So fucking scary. By the way, is this not his haircut? This Brillo pad by the sink. Okay, now that we have freshly dirty wet hands, I guess we'll just walk away, live our best life. I love the smell of this. I soap. bet you she don't wash her legs. I bet you. I bet you she don't wash her legs. She's in. She's firmly in the. The soap will rinse down right, my kid? body and count. Yeah, just super tired. Can we get a piece of this? Ooh. These look nope. like wild okay. berries. Bet. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh, yes. She takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. Her. What are you working on? Chief pulled over a truck for speeding this morning and found some illegal game in the back. I'm registering the ticket. Could. <laughs> they never learn, do they? Nope. This man looks like a cross between... I almost said something really foul. I almost said something really foul. Electric toothbrush is wild. At least we didn't spend the night here. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. Fine. Oh, eavesdrop, eavesdrop. Sounds like Eddie's busy. It shouldn't bother him. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. Uncle's in there. Whew, he's really letting that guy have it. Let's be nosy, bro. I probably shouldn't eavesdrop, but... No, no, no. No more snooping. No, do it. No more snooping. She's so annoying. Yo, imagine not. No more snooping. Bro, she's so annoying. I guess we kind of exposed some holes in their security. Okay, they bumped up security since they broke into their shit. Fine, we'll leave. We'll leave. We'll leave. We'll leave. Fine. I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. Are we good? Can we go now? 
You done? This is a dead end, ain't it? I'm, my mind is so we, stuck. I uh, have new rules about civilians hanging around certain parts of the station. Reception booth is out of bounds. Sorry. My mind is so stuck on the grilled cheese made with waffles. Like. I hope Rosie's better soon. She must have something nasty. What is Greg's up to with the security cameras? Uh, he's fine. This cobbler does look amazing. Greg's been whining all day about his diet, but he's not fooling anyone. Mm -hmm. All right, what did I miss? How can I choose if I'm already chose? Like- I'm so sorry to keep you waiting, Allie, but I really need to finish this before I can break. No worries, I'm not in a rush. By the way, we need to eat at the diner. I kind of called in sick, so Tessa's is out. <laughs> Actually, I am at a rush. At least we didn't spend the night here. Yo, I've looked at everything. I've seen all the people, talked to everybody. Let's eat the pie. Let's eat the pie. Weather's getting colder day by day. Huh? I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Always. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it, too. <laughs> God, that kid can eat. Linda's pretty concerned, but, uh, growing boys, right? He needs the extra energy. He wants to let her in wrestling, and, oh boy, is he working. You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? Um, AO, A1 Steak Sauce is talking to us, though. What you reading? Oh, uh, about that doc strike and the trouble these folks are causing for everyone else. Ugh, I hate strikes. What is this, Paris, France? Come on. It's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. Yo, I just realized where I've seen his haircut from. It's shaped like a comma. What are you having? Trout pie and uh, black radish. There's no way you eat that. I'm on a diet. What? What uh, is trout pie? Diet? What is fish hey, pie? Never mind. I won't tell if Never you. Never mind. Know. Don't answer that. Hey, Gregs. Huh. So, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. Nothing too serious. Which is fine by me. Boring is good. I don't like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's like actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. People come in all the time from God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. Hey, Gregs. Got any big vacation plans coming up? Yeah, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. With your comma here it is. My sister lives up that way. But I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. No, That's his really hair cool. his hair looks like a pancake. I'd love to go there someday. And it's probably Literally a last pancake. big trip before Lauren's off to college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. <sighs> hey, here we go. Whew. You were in my face. Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? A kid? Let me guess. Some bored kid? Eh, wrong. It's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash band of stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, I'm, I'm so sorry to bail, Damien but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. I'm good. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, I'm it's, good. it's okay. I'm not totally. a real fish. I'm not a big fish person. Duty calls. The only time Thanks. I like fish 
Is it with salmon? Oh, uh, I brought you a little something. Or cod. To make up for missing your birthday. I hate all other kinds of fish, personally. It's not much, but. Hey, here you go. You're kidding. I love it. Did you make this? Yes. <laughs> How did I get so lucky? Aww. Bella's Crossing's not going to be the same without you, girl. Gay twins? Oh, question mark, on. question mark. Hi, White Bell. Right, Every, I'll call did you later. Did y'all see how quick her, to how close sleep, her right? face was when she got up? Oh, we go together. Perfect. Perfect. Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? What do you what mean? Do you mean? Well, you know, how he went and broke into the archive room, then pretty much assaulted your uncle? Look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. Assault? The Allison you know? We didn't yeah. assault his ass. A sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. Y'all can keep tilapia, and you can keep catfish. To be Don't bring that, that near me. Tilapia is literally disgusting, and so is catfish. Ugh. Both of them were the rats of the sea, in my opinion. We did what we had we to. We did what we had to, to get what we needed. No regrets. i do it again, bro. All right. I just want you to be careful. We're going to get to the truth no matter what. I've been doing this for a long time. And people... I don't trust them. They mostly don't change. His forehead Even too big. Even when we really want them to. His hairline go up too high. I don't trust Look, him. I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest, stable. You're not a troublemaker. But Tyler, I mean, if he goes down, don't let him take you with him, okay? I, I can't, I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please just let me go. I need air. I need some air. What's going on? Girl, maybe it's time to call that therapist. You got the budget? Hi. Are you there? Tyler? There's no way y'all can <laughs> communicate me, miles away. There's no way. Why is he ghosting me? <laughs> Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong about everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? Why does no. everybody always blame Tyler? It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him over and over. Please confess, finally. Please confess. You'll feel better From if you here, confess. It looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. Oh my you god. If she doesn't confess, I'm gonna fucking scream. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. Because I'm the one that killed our mom. That's not true, Uncle. I was there. I. You tell him. Years old. Oh my God! Please tell him. You could do. Please tell him. I want them you to stop talking shit about Tyler. Please tell them. The please give me that option to confess. Please, please send Allison to prison. <laughs> Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? And now he's talking shit about her mom. I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... It never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You gotta tell those ghosts. Uh... Move on. America, I think that's what... I think that's what it was. Just scroll it down. Um, thank you for lying to me. I appreciate you. Hi, Talit. I killed Marianne. There is nothing... The Holy Ghost is anointing my hand. Whew, 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 whew. 
Uncle. It was me. Let it out, sis. I... This time the world knows. ...is the one who... ...had the scissors. Yes. What? Yes. It was me the whole time. What, what are you saying? He's exactly what she just said. I killed mom. She... She was threatening Tyler. <sighs> So I stabbed her. <laughs> I, I killed her. Damn. I killed my mother. Oof. 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 <laughs> But Tyler confessed. To protect he, me. He went to Fireweed. To we protect lied. me. We lied to everyone. Don't you feel better though, now that you told the truth? Maybe you can sleep at night? No, 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 no. <laughs> How? How could you let him take the blame? It was a mistake, I know. But we were in shock. Tyler wanted to take the blame. Okay, but here's the thing, you were in shock. And I let him. But it was 10 years of you being in shock? But we should have told the truth. It must have really hurt. Keeping that inside all these years. Oh my God, he Everybody still has sympathy for her. Oh my God, he can. Do, she can do no wrong in this man's eyes. I wish I had a daddy like that, or a friend, a cousin, somebody. She's there. I can't take it anymore. This is wild. It's not easy to admit something like that. Wow. Wow, I imagine confessing to murder and then getting called off like this. I, I should have seen it. I... So sorry. And he's apologizing to her and taking the blame. You too. Got you. Oh, child. This is triggering me. Out of all the elements in this, this game so far, this is the part that's triggering me. child i hate her even more than i hated her yesterday <laughs> thank you uncle and now How let's go get ice now? cream let's celebrate Any better relieved actually and really tired he did raise her all these years oh okay i was remembering something earlier I, I would be so disappointed really if my child had somebody we else going on for, for a murder I committed. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I he cannot did. imagine having a sibling taking the fall for me for a crime I committed. I cannot. I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine. Um. How close were he and Marianne? I don't know exactly. Them tears dried up quick as hell. But he cared about her a lot. Her... Her death really shook him up. He was over at our house a lot. Fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was. But did you ever think it might have been Sam? Ooh. He did apologize to Tyler. Well, your mom and him were close. We just rejected so his apology. That's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some He rest. touches her a lot. To and not just for Tyler. Oh my for God. Me 
I love you, Uncle. Thank Are they you for blood everything. related? I'll call you later. <laughs> I'm just curious. I realize this is Alaska and not Alabama, but he's still on my suspect list. So there's it. I take apologies in cash payments. Would that actually work for you? If somebody did you dirty, would you forgive them if they pay if they tried to pay you off? That's the question for everybody. If some let's say somebody did you dirty, they hurt your feelings big time, broke your heart actually. Okay. Could they give you money you can do this. to make it better? I'm curious. So we're at, we're at a, a junkyard of some sort, right? Out of order, go around. Bet. What happens if I walk on the ice? Uh... <laughs> I was hoping she'd fall. I'm just kidding. Okay, Allison, I'm gonna give you a third chance to be a decent person. You confess to one person. I would like for you to confess to everyone. He seems like a nice Hell person. Yeah. Hello. Hi, Let's Sam. talk. Let's talk. Yeah. Are you okay? Let's yeah. talk, you yeah, alcoholic. What is he making? What is this? <clears throat> this looks like a waffle iron. Uh, can't no? Can't the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? I wanted to talk. I was hoping to, uh... I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Uh, I'd act like I forgave yeah. them until I had the money in my hand and uh, walk away. All right, uh, here she is. <laughs> and say, this is how I felt when I got betrayed. That is, that is, that is a cute way to end up on a true crime documentary. Pretending to accept someone's apology, take their money, and then talk shit to them as you walk away. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I was over at the station and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for Taking a while. the money and blocking them as well. Our whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button up. That's a nice memory. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh. Never mind. Uh, where's your brother? We had a fight. We had a fight. <laughs> Bit of sibling rivalry, huh? Walk well, out of their life my with my new shoes it. on. Right up. Right up till the end. You said these boots were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you, bitch. That's wild. Uh, are you gonna finally, so, like, be um, done? What are you doing wandering around in the middle of the working day? I'm off today. Sam, could we talk now? It's a little important. Ain't that what we're doing? How's the, uh, how's the house coming along? I'm tired of the small talk. I have something... Honestly, physically painful. It'll be a miracle if I don't throw out my back. Let your brother do the heavy lifting. So Aren't he you 21 years old? <laughs> Not better. So, um... What are you doing wandering around in the middle of the Oh my gosh. Day? I'm off today. Sam, could we talk now? It's a little important. Ain't that what we're doing? All right. So you're not going to talk to me, but... God. This article about ocean acidification is really unnerving. Ocean acidification. Oh, it keeps um, me up at there's night. an article in today's paper about how climate change is ruining the ocean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Fish have gotten puny, spotting fewer and fewer whales. I don't know where we're headed, but... Ooh, hold on. We have a letter. Sure as hell are going there. Hey, cuz, I left you my boat a month ago, and far as I can tell, the only work you've done, you done is test how much beer you can fit on it. I paid you in advance as a favor because I know you need it, but God damn it, I need my boat. 
Family is family, but get it done by this weekend or I'm reporting it stolen and I know you're tired of brown on your ass. Answer your goddamn phone. He said GD. He really meant it. He put bass in his chest. He put bass in his chest. Um, oh, we owe $31,000. Yo. If this is a, this is the epitome of America, owing $31,000. Where did I get $31,000? No, just kidding. I don't know where I got $31,000 from. Your bank account is negative 446. Never mind. I thought I I don't know where I got 35 whatever I said, $13,000. All right, so Sam has no money. He broke. Uh his voting ballot. I wonder who he's going to vote for. We have a court summons. So our account is overdrawn. And we got jury duty or a jury appointment. We're, we're like, are we being sued? Alaska First Judicial District Court, State of Alaska versus the State of Alaska. The state of Alaska is suing Sam. Is that what I'm reading? For a DUI, bro. What a loser. What a loser. Like, get it together. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was time for annual haul out. Haul out? Oh, yeah. You gotta get her up out of the water. No bananas on board? Really? Damn right. It's not just superstition. This one time, this greenhorn brought one on board. Well, you wouldn't believe the day we had. And this was the banana's fault. Bananas are bad luck, sure as hell. Every single time I throw a banana off board, the fish start biting. All right. If you say so. Whoa, that's a really nice sextant. Well, it sure is. It's a present for my old crew for my 30th birthday. I've never heard it's the word beautiful. sextant in my entire life. Well, I have to Google it. It's mostly just for decoration these days, but uh, I'm a big fan of doing things the old fashioned way, you know? Sextant, an, in an instrument for determining the angle between the horizon and a celestial body such as the sun, the moon, or a star. Used in celestial navigation to determine latitude and longitude. The device consists of an arc or of a circle marked off in degrees and a movable radial arm pivoted at the center of the circle. A sextant. To help you determine longitude and longitude. Watch it. Learn something new every day. Hey, an encyclopedia of astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real detail. Oh, I know this one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Mm. Yeah, your mother gave that to me. Really got me thinking about things. All right. How much stuff do we have to be looking at in Sam's place, bro? Okay, let's go upstairs and then we'll talk to Sam again after. Yo, the view though. The view is beautiful. What's up here? De los Marine. Do that answer. Bet. Can you imagine like being able to look at this type of view on a daily basis? Beautiful. All right, Sam, talk to me. Would this help? Oh, uh, thanks princess, but that ain't it. It's, uh, it's in a red can. Not a princess. Um, 
You can call me princess if you want. Her. A red can. Did I miss it? Boom. You better give us some juicy information, all this damn work I'm doing for you for free. You got an achievement, y'all. Well, let's see. Should be just about. Eh, try again. <laughs> Pass me that wrench, will ya? The wrench that is literally four Sam? inches from your hand. Are you our father? <sighs> Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Yo, she raw dog that question. Well, I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie. I mean, that's a perfectly but the man you're looking for. He ain't me. Okay, so it's not Sam, supposedly. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey. You got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. That part. But you two are so close. I know you meant something to her. According to Honestly, Uncle Eddie, your mama you meant a lot to a lot of people. Father. If you know what I'm I saying. I could be a deadbeat, but I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never. Your mama's nickname was Slay Ride because everybody got a turn on that heel. You know what I mean, I'm saying? Take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. Woo! That was funny so to me. That was funny to me. To all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't. I don't no, for the rest her. of this game, we're not calling her Mary and her name I is Slay Ride. Okay. So much. But I don't even know who she was. Dasher Dancer, Donner and Blitzen had Let her on speed dial, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a it's all a good night. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come in. Come in. Oh. When was the last time you cracked a window? Woo! That was also funny to me. Sit with me. Sit with you. Yeah, whatever. I got to I got to investigate first. Crack open this window cuz it smells like shit in here apparently. I don't, I mean, he's an alcoholic. I don't foresee that his house is going to be well kept or whatever this is, the top of his mechanic place. What do you call a mechanic place? A, a garage? A, a, a motorcycle shelter? What do you call it? A body shop. That's what it's called. Looking sharp. A motorcycle mate, shelter. <laughs> uh, what's that now? These pictures. Oh, well, yeah, that, that was uh, a long time ago. How are you dragging a dead woman? I'm not dragging her. I'm just reporting, reporting. I'm just mentioning what everybody in this game is saying. Tessa said their mama was a trollop. Uncle Eddie said their mama was a trollop. It's giving very much Sydney's mom from Scream. If it gets the house sold, it gets the house sold. All right, let's see what they said about the house. So they put their house on sale for just under $200,000. This charming all wood custom built hey, home is tucked along. away in the woods south of Cannery Road, just outside beautiful downtown De Los 
crossing. Open kitchen with a spacious living room overlooking a breathtaking lakeside view with balcony. This idyllic 1.3 acre lot boosts boasts lovely additions such as a barn, a large dock, and a boathouse. Surrounding trees make for lots of privacy, easy access to Delos Creek, enjoy walking trails, and a protected wildlife habitat to explore. Request a showing, request more information. Um, I mean, they didn't lie. They didn't lie. They didn't lie. That house is all them things. Um, Samuel didn't think twice before jumping into the ice cold waters of Mitchell Point to save members of his crew. So he's a hero. He's an alcoholic and a hero. Also, hold up. Did that say 29? That must be an old article. Otherwise, you are a very hard 29, sir. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, did I get everything? Uh, you want to take a seat? Uh, pay to the order, Sam. $150. Okay. What did that say? What does the note say? What is the... Not the... Dad. Talk to mom and she said you were having some trouble. It's not much, but hopefully it's enough to put some food in the fridge. Yo. Yo, imagine having hey, to get money from your look. kids. Damn. Why is there a burnt up pan in your garbage? Oh yeah, <laughs> that. Uh, might have fallen asleep cooking dinner. Glad you're still with and us. And look at your house, bro. You throwing away whole pans, just raw in the gar- You have garbage on the floor around the trash can. You have dirty dishes, not even in the sink because there's there's an empty bottle in the sink instead. Bitch, you nasty. And you got your kids paying your bills. Come on. And you got a nasty ass recipe for a salmon. What's a salmon casserole? Uh, you want to take a seat? Give me a second, bro. Pasta, shredded carrots, condensed cream of celery mayonnaise, milk, peas, salmon with 10 crackers. That's an end of end of days recipe. That's zombie apocalypse uh, food. Oh, he got a meal plan. He got a negative $500 bank account. Dirty dishes on the flow. But he got a meal plan. Love this picture of your mama. Hold up, how are you eating salmon? When I'm broke, I don't be eating salmon. Salmon is expensive. He ain't really broke. He, he, he pump faking on it. He, he faking on it. Well, he said Monday, egg and cheese with toast, tuna sandwich, spaghetti and meatball, Tuesday, oatmeal with yogurt, with fruits and honey, lunch leftovers, Dinner, catch of the day. Okay, so far, you know, we keeping it low cost, low cost. Wednesday, an omelet, turkey sandwich, and then the salmon casserole. Hey. Thursday. Look. Shut the fuck up. Thursday, egg and cheese with toast, tuna sandwich. I mean, tuna sandwich is struggle. Grilled cheese and tomato soup, catch of the day, leftovers. And then you're having dinner at Tessa's. Interesante. Interesante that you're going to have dinner with that hag. What's all this? Here, I uh, kept a few things. Can I? Girl, they live in Alaska. Oh well, you know, um, that that that's a that's a fair point. Hold up, but are salmon like freshwater fish? Do salmon be in Alaska like that? Swords and schemes. Oh, and I took her to see that for her birthday. <laughs> she hated every second of it. Whole drive back, she talked about how it butchered the books. July 6th, huh? What sign is that? 
What's it? What's 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 July? Cancer? Oh, she was a cancer. Did I explains like a lot. It? I uh, well, <laughs> fell asleep before I even saw a sword. Old sleigh ride was a cancer. Gotcha. I remember this. We got this on our trip to Juno. Uh -huh. <laughs> she saved up for a whole year to make that happen. Dear Sam, I am writing from the little hotel you recommended in downtown Juno, 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 downtown Alaska. And you was right. The kids love the whale Merle. Our other favorite was the Raven Merle at City Hall. Today, we took the tramway to the top of Mount Roberts. Kids wanted to hike the trail, but we only made it to the totems. Tomorrow, we're going to hike to Nugget Falls to see if the glacier still looks like what's on the other side. Hope, hope. Hope you're hauling them in by the barrel load. Marianne. Merle. I just wanted to say Merle again. A birthday card, huh? Huh? I mean, we Kansas do get around. You're saying Kansas are hoes. Kansas are hoes. Is that what you're saying? You like get it in where you can. Is that what you're saying? You guys are proper harlots, trollops, if you will. Dear Sam, most bears only live to 20 or 25. So congratulations on making it to 29. I certainly, w okay, so he's 39, okay. I certainly wouldn't have survived long out here without you. So thanks again for everything you do. Laura is a very lucky woman. I know you think the best part of your past has been a race, but as long as you don't forget, what's that word? And a kachaka, and a kachaka. Rose will always be seaworthy. It just might look a little a bit smaller in memory. I hope you get some time on the water with Richie this weekend and catch everything you deserve, including some new memories. Now he's a, he's he's a he, Richie, aka Richard, is paying his daddy's bills right now. So I'm guessing the days of them fishing. Like that. Oh, she was a real artist, that one. Kind of like you. All right. Well, that's cute that he has a box of memorabilia of our mom. Happy. Mm. Look at them on a sure. date. Look at her mama and homeboy on the date. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. Imagine referring to your graduation cap as a square hat. That's how I know she ain't never graduated high school. She said, what's with the square hat? What's that funny white thing rolled up with the ribbon around it? What is this? How do you pronounce it? Gradation? Happy gradation? She's stupid as hell. No offense. Huh. I'm and sorry, I hate her so much. Let me take it back. We've been working on that barn for months. Formal education does not have anything to do with intelligence. I know. Sheath. Rain just. I just don't like her. Leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh yeah, you didn't know? No, oh, she didn't tell us. Wait, our barn? Is that a trap door? Has a second yeah. floor? Jim, you close the whole thing up. I told her it was gonna be real hard to get. We gotta go check it there, out. We gotta go check it out. She said she Watch the killer be in there. Do you know what's up there? With a shrine to us, with pictures of us growing up as children, like a weirdo. It, so I respected that. Well, we're gonna have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. I didn't slander. Well, you really need to go through with this. 
It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's, it's all that, it's all we got left. Is that liquor or beer? You can't just throw it away. All right, the two options they give us, y'all, is to say either I'm sorry or you have to let Marianne go. You have to go on. Not me, not Hermione, you. Look at yourself. That's verbatim what it is. That's enough. How long are you going to keep feeling sorry for yourself? Are you really just going to drag Marianne behind you for the rest of your life? Give it back. No, <laughs> he about I'm to sick slap of the watching taste you play town mouth. drunk. For Christ's sake, get it together. You came here looking for my help, and now you're going to stand there and judge me? Things were just fine until you two came along, digging up things that should have stayed buried. Fine? Look around you. You're living with ghosts. I can't tell if she's brave or stupid. Get out. <sighs> Because destroying an addict's supply, you're pathetic. That's a choice. Out! Was that necessary? Alcoholism is a real disease. It's not like he sent his brother to jail for 10 days, I mean 10 years, and didn't visit him once, you know? It could be worse. We could be a worse person like that. <sighs> That's fine. There is nothing this game can possibly tell me to make it okay that she let her brother confess to that crime and get locked up for a decade. There is nothing in this game that can make that okay with me. You have no claim to my children. Get the hell off my property now. Finally, we're Tyler. I miss you so much, baby. I, do you know how much time I had to spend with your raggedy ass sister? I'm so happy. Oh, baby, I missed hey, you. Tyler. And here's Bay. I've been looking all already. Over the place we're here. better storyline. Right. Ten out of ten. Yeah. I don't want to leave here. I Whoa. love it. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Let's get you off your feet and on this dick. Listen, <laughs> if you want to be alone, I'll oh. go. No, but stay, if babe. Anything you need to get off your chest. Stay, babe. I won't snitch. You saw Allison. How is she? Yeah. I went back to check on her this morning. She was in a pretty bad way. You know, still a Whatever murderer. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. What did I say? Well, I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. Was that wise man you? Hey, like I said, I gotta write my own I legacy. love this, like, so, you in? sunset vibes. I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Are Ice you trying to do it in the snow? In November? Yeah, it got cold way fast this year. Climate change, that shit's gonna kill us, but hey. Fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. <laughs> Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. Stage is set. It's showtime. Whenever I'm gonna ready. get to fish. You sure you don't want to go? Have y'all ever been nah. fishing, Girl Squad? Look, no way I'm gonna rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. I've never been fishing. 
All right. It would be wasted on me. Oh, have I? If I've been fishing, I've never caught a fish. It would be wasted on me because I'm not going to touch it. Yeah. If I catch one, I'm not going to take it off the hook. So it was wa it'd be wasted nah. on me. I'm so going to miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out and fishing and... You know, I'm not going to have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right. Right. So did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Many times, really? but not in the snow. People came and went a lot. And besides... Everyone moves on eventually, right? <laughs> Not everyone. Not people who get so close, they're like family. No. I already have a family. Well, there's a reason we think of families as trees. They keep on sprouting new branches. And... Oh, uh, hey, I think I've got a bite. You got this. Reel them in. Reel the fish in before the fish gets away? Let's go. Oh my god. Let's fish. Let's fish. Let's fish. Come on. Pull up on the rod. Okay, let's see. Let me make sure I got the right. Uh, hold to keep the marker in the sweet spot. Okay. Reel them in. Oh, that was really easy. Now give it a nice pull. This is insanely easy. Are you serious? I got it. I got it. Wow. Slippery little. Got it. <laughs> Bravo. It's giving queen of gaming First behavior. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> this Thanks, game in difficulty say. level is oh, like hey, the complete make opposite of Little to Nightmares the too. Hole? The river might ice over soon, so we should Which I like it. Long. I like that. It's heavy on the storytelling. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Hey, is cool. it a date? I'll set my alarm to ass crack of dawn. It's giving date. You got anything good in there? Maybe, but who says I'm willing to share? Okay, fine, be that way. Yo, do you remember when I went on that date with that girl and she refused to let me taste her pancakes? Michael's giving that energy. You have this whole fancy bag just for ice fishing? You don't mix and match. Ever. Jeez, you don't mess around, do you? <laughs> Told you earlier, I'm a very serious man. All right, here we go. Hey, so the other day you were talking. Oh, wait, I can't talk to you and fish at the same time? Come on, wow. pull up on the rod. My bad. Pull up in the... Okay, I won't press that again. Ooh, three times this time. Does it go up in difficulty? Uh, I mean, okay. Hey, that's a big mama. Okay. <laughs> How about them apples? Oh, nice job. So you weren't all talk. Impressed. I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. So, about last night, I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out, we weren't. Nah, that's hey, exactly what I was going so with it. So don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. Ah, uh, we're different. <sighs> but what if we can't? If she doesn't understand why all this is important to me, then maybe we're just too different. We were finally about to get some answers and she fucking ran off. Well, can you blame her? Yes. <sighs> Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. Right. She's so fixated on selling the house. Yeah. It's like she's trying to bury the past. That part. All of it. Even the good parts. 
Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her and start fresh. <laughs> Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. I was the kid who killed his mom. Yeah, well, I was the kid who killed his mom. And I still found a way to confront my shit. I mean, I'm here, doing the work. Even though, every second, I've got to fight the urge to run straight back. To fireweed, you mean? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now, I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never gonna give up on you. And you can lean on me too, if you want. Just be careful, okay? Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. Are we fishing again? So do you always drive around with an auger in your car? It's not how it looks. Okay, I swear. What I is was an already auger? planning on going ice fishing with the family this weekend. Oh, does this I mean, made a mistake. Is that the thing that you the used to make holes in so ice? Nothing on hand but an ice chisel. That'll scar a man for life. <laughs> Fair enough. Don't you say anything. I got this. My man, thank you to my man. All right, let's fish. Okay, please make it harder. <laughs> Pause. Oh, they did. <laughs> it looks so funny. Mm, easy. Light work. Oh. Light work. Whoa. Bam. Give we it to me three. as hard as Whoa, you can boy. make it. <laughs> I got nothing. That was clean. Huh. I'm uh, I got a steam achievement. Fish all the fish. We caught all the fish, y'all. Now Can it's dark I ask outside. You something kind of weird and maybe hard to answer. Weird and kind of hard to answer my jam. What's up? How'd you know you were ready to uh, trust anyone enough to put yourself out there? Okay. Yeah, that, that is the hard What'd question. I say? <laughs> told you there's not really two ways about it you gotta be willing to take a hit look I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once but I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on because when you meet someone who really sees you you don't have to pretend anymore you still want to risk it with me? And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think it's worth a chance. Don't you? We're in total agreement. I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you and it'd be cool. I feel safe you are girl we have a man me a finally uh, yeah she would so doesn't look like you're catching anything with that you want me to show you how it's done go for it show me how it's done daddy mm. also i caught all the fish though so i don't know what you can show what you can show the teacher but you can hey, call me Professor Sadie's. Because <laughs> I'm here to show you how it's done. Oh my God. Oh my God. We're making a move. You okay? Ah! I 
felt that. I felt that kiss in my soul. I felt it. I felt it. I'm, I'm all tingly. I'm all tingly. And they're holding hands. It better not be over. We did not play Tyler not near long enough. You better not be taking me back to Allison after that moment. I don't want to see nothing but them. I, I, I want to see them in bed with two sets of boots outside the bed. That's <laughs> we just saw this bitch. So, uh, yeah. Yes. One way to put it. Hey, Ali. I think I'll just show myself out. You know, okay. I realize uh, what Allison reminds me of. You know, I will. Allison is the type of woman who will argue with the employees at Bath and Body Works about whether or not a coupon is expired. That's what she gives off. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. She she consistently comes Did between me and my man. Consistently. Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, Just because the only man in your life I'm is your uncle Eddie yesterday. Don't mean that's gotta be my future. All of this it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Imagine apologizing for this. Now we gotta take a shower. Why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. Keep We're restarting for the fourth time. Re restarting our relationship <laughs> with Allison. Clean slate. Clean slate okay, with Allison. So I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? A real clean slate. Well, say it. So, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. I'm not surprised. Burning down the barn didn't really seem like a Sam move. I sure did. Yeah, I guess it was silly to suspect him in the first place. I I've feel like you have to have a certain kids. amount of There's sobriety to commit arson. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Marianne first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently, she never told anyone about I it. I cannot believe I'm and listening to her talk there. again. As far as he knows. Clean yeah. slate. What do you think? Clean slate. Should we give it a shot? Clean slate. We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. Y'all, why do I feel like something major is about to happen? Why do I feel like we're about to find some bull? Why do I feel like we're gonna find a dead body up in here? Ugh, what a mess. That's not gonna help us get this happen. What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. I'll protect you, sis. Don't worry. Whatever's up there, I'll protect you. We'll see how chivalrous you feel when you've got bats in that perfectly coiffed hair. I mean, can we need to get a ladder? Is that what we're doing? Ladder? Ladder? ladder that I can't pick up bet 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 um you need to see the picture again no I need the game to let me pick up the ladder no lever man this place is a I thought I saw something right over here but I guess my mind's just playing tricks on me for a second I thought there might be another secret stash down here but just a loose plank. Just a regular old light switch. Nothing here. The handle should be behind this. We're doing something. Ah, 
There it the is. Lever. All right, let's see what's up here, bro. Girl squad, hold my hand. It's opening hold up. my hand. The secret hold my hand. Did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Please. Yep. Come on, let's find a way to. Well, that's way too high to jump. You want to give me a leg up? I'm so not touching your nasty shoes. That part. We'll find a ladder. Imagine me touching your nasty ass shoes. I was hit too much. I mean, fresh start. Fresh start. There's no way this is this has been our backyard the whole time. This shrine. This is giving hereditary. Can you see anything? Nope, nada. <laughs> Here, found a switch. <gasps> Here we go. Here we go, y'all. Buckle up. Buckle up. Uh, holy shit. Well, that shaved Once a few years a time, off my life. Once upon a time, there were there was a young princess. What did it say? Again, Allison. Oh my gosh. This this place looks wow. pretty cool. Her story. Look, she left us something. Ooh, a puzzle. Per three pie symbols. It's got a combination lock with letters. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Knowing Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> well, you want to do this? Yeah, let's start here. This place looks awesome. Why are these pictures from the Book of Goblins here? I, I don't know. Hmm. Why don't we solve this one first? Okay, you could have said that before. Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the Mad Hunter. It looks like it, but it's different, right? Can you check the book? What does it say? It moves. Oh, some of these parts are buttons. Okay, let's see, select it. Huh. Maybe not, but the title is different. All right, let's see. Will this say the one where the Mad Hatter, what? What did they say? The one where the mat. Tell me Figured again. anything out yet? Tell me again. Uh, I'm totally stumped. Well, first off, the title's different, right? Okay, that wasn't helpful in the least bit. Okay, let's look at the titles. Um, The Mad Hatter gets his hand back. Y'all think it's that one? The last one? Hmm. Once upon a time in a d Yo, I'm gonna read this. Can I read this, y'all? Our final story? Hopefully our final story? Submit it for the approval of the Midnight Society. I call this story the tale of the Mad Hunter gets his hand back. Once upon a time, in a deep and cold lake near the ancient forest, there lived an old seal who was a powerful witch. After angering the Ice King, she had been bound to the lake, allowed only to venture out when the moon was full, and only looking like the hag she truly was. Wow. A little harsh. For years, she dreamed of vengeance all alone within the deep lake among the corpses of her many previous victims. One night, she awoke to see a black and hooded silhouette clawing to reach a beautiful gown full of stone. 
the human had delved for deeper into the lake than any land dweller should have been able to. His tenacity and ferociousness impressed the moon hag, and she decided he would be wasted in her statuary of corp corpses. She used her magic to inspell him, allowing him to breathe underwater, but also binding him to her service. You, she said, will be the instrument of my release and my revenge. For you and I together will kill the Ice King. The moon hag had never heard of the Mad Hunter, and she did not know the power he wielded. She could only tell he was a hunter, and her lust for revenge blinded her to the truth of the threat he possessed. He posed. She gifted him a hand of ice which is not as nimble as a hand of flesh, but allowed him to serve her better with no hand at all. The moon hag spent years devising the perfect plan to kill the Ice King and years more moving all the pieces into place to execute it. In the meantime, the mad hunter served her, guarding her chest of treasures and plotting his own plots. Finally, everything was prepared. The full moon rose and the moon hag stepped on land, giddy at the thought she would never have to leave again if it did not please her. She brought the mad hunter to his post, a jagged peak of ice and stone from which he would lose the arrow that would slay the ice king. Before she could go, he put forward a proposal. Moon hag, said the mad hunter. If you grow back my missing hand, I would be certain to hit the Ice King with my arrow. We will have only one shot, and I would hate to miss. You're a powerful witch, so you'll be able to craft ties to bind me to this place that I cannot break. The moon hag considered it. All right, I will grow back your hand and then bind you here with ties that will not break. She cast a spell and the Mad Hunter's hand of ice was replaced with a hand of flesh. As the witch left to complete the next part of her plan, the Mad Hunter grinned wickedly in the moonlight. After a short time, the moon hag returned, luring the Ice King into the Mad Hunter's line of sight. What is this about, moon hag? asked the Ice King. Many a long year have you bound me to the lake, said the moon hag. Many a long year have I been alone in the dark. That ends tonight. She cast a powerful spell that made the Ice King slow to react and then gave the signal. Mad Hunter, she cried, let your arrow fly. Nothing happened. She twitched nervously. Mad Hunter, she growled, let your arrow fly. Still nothing happened. The Ice King, meanwhile, was striding towards her, slow but furious. The moon hag fled, running first to the jagged peak of ice and stone where her servant should have waited. But the peak was empty. The ties had been broken. And the mad hunter was gone. For in the end, he was the more powerful of the two, especially once he had two hands. When the Ice King finally caught the hag, his furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. You will no longer be allowed to leave, not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. And this is how the mad hunter escaped the moon hag, and how he got his left hand back. That was a cute story. I don't remember any of it. What happened? <laughs> Yo, I can't read out loud and consume it. What happened? All right, right, right. So it was this dude named the Mad Hatter, right? And um, he was growing back his hand and stuff. And uh, the witch was trying to put a spell on him, right? Um, she she uh she did stuff. Um, he said, "If you grow back my hand, I'll, I'll shoot homie with it with arrow." And, uh, I don't know, bro. Uh, it's
it's not the same title, so I guess that counts as a difference. Are we just supposed to be finding the differences? Yo, it's giving guess. It's giving guess. Okay, so is it the hand? What hand was it? Hold on, what? <laughs> okay, uh, black and headed figure. Um, I feel like this should be easier. Hold on, are there symbols? Let me see. No, there's not. Hmm. Was that the right story? That's a great question. Is it the right story? It might not be actually. Let's see. A story about a princess and the Mad Hatter. I don't... We did the princess party. We did the princess and the two thieves. Um, some while stealing food. Once upon a time, there was a young princess who felt hopeless. The princess is running away from the mad hunter. Who was sent by the gold lady, according to the story. Do you think the gold lady could have been Marianne's mom? I mean, she always used to say she moved to the end of the world to get away from her family. Huh. Yeah, you're right. She ran away, just like the princess is here. Is that correct? Because I literally just clicked it, just to click it. Why do you think she added that castle in the background? See the color of the flag? It could be her mother's castle. It looks like the princess is running away from it. So Marianne ran away from home, and she grew up kind of rich? Does his smile look different to you? No. What is this? Hmm. Maybe that branch looks a little bit different? Hold on. I'm gonna go through all these hoes. All right. Ice cave. I don't think it's that one. Princess and the two thieves. Could it be this one? I don't see any mention of a mad hunter. Well, mm. here it is. Damn. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Maybe it's a message. Like, the differences between the two mean something. So we're not going to talk about Something how I read that whole story and it was the wrong one. Since she's the princess. We're not going to yeah. talk about it. Why don't we try to find them all and then see if it makes any sense. So we just have to find three differences. So number one, the story is different. The girl's not there and the castle's not there. Okay. Spot the differences. Definitely that. Definitely that. Definitely that. Um, is that the same? That's the same. And then what else? The branch is a little, little different. I don't really think that means anything. Oh, the star is still the same. The hand right here. Did she add that flower? Not the flower. Not that, the like, flower. An innocence lost kind of thing. The hand. Uh, really, the mad hunter still has two hands here. So this was either before the gold lady cut off his other one, or after he earned it back. Which either makes it before most of the stories, or after. Yeah. At some point when she was running away from whatever the hell the Mad Hunter meant to Marianne. This is a really intricate puzzle. Can we stop and think about the fact that this, is, this was in their home for 10 years? How are the lights still on? How is all of this still functional? Nobody even knew this was here. I'm confused. Um, okay, what else is the difference? Um, the story, that branch is the same. That is the same. That is different. That's the same. That's different. That's the same. And then this. Uh, this. Huh. No goblets. Yeah. In the hey, original. we did it! it. 
Let's go! Oh, big brain, not the small one. Per, we found Pictures, the sickest ash. Letters. Have you ever seen any of these? All the pictures of Marianne I've ever seen were the ones hanging on the walls. Let's go through all this. I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Marianne. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her. I mean, clearly you don't know everything that you thought you knew about your mother. Including who your daddy is. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? My birdie, Polly. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her that young. I think that's her mom in the background. Did you know she studied engineering? No, but it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled, like someone tried to throw it away. So our mom was an engineer. An artsy environmentalist. Yep. That sounds like Marianne's exact kind of catnip. Do you think by the end of this story, they're going to start calling their mom, mom? The gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So did Marianne grow up kind of rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. All right, letter. Marianne, I can't do this anymore. You deserve better than cliche bullshit. Like, it's not you, it's me. But not... Y'all, we're getting broken up with... In a letter. But the truth is, it's all just been too much to deal with, and I've realized I'm just not ready. Maybe we could have dealt with all of this on our own without your mom constantly putting pressure on us. Things could have been different, but the damage is done, and it's probably too late for that now. I'm so sorry. You're an amazing person, and you made me a better man. Yeah. Yeah. You're breaking up with me. I don't give a fuck if I made you a better man. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Is that supposed that I made you better for the next chick? Oh my God. I would have torched this and never looked back. Keyed his car and kept moving. I hate myself for doing this, but I feel like we'll both be better off. So he gave us the, it's, it's not you, it's me. He gave us, you made us a better man. And then he gave us the, you're better off without me. That... There, I go with the cliches again. Please don't ever stop being who you are. And now you're telling me I'm, I'm fine the way I am and not to change. Gaslighting 101, here, but I'm gone, Brent. Signing here, this guy been any but more I'm cryptic? gone, is actually wild. I, you know what? The next time I'm about to end things with somebody, instead of ghosting them, I'm going to say XOXO, say, <laughs> here, but I'm gone, Sadie's. <laughs> That's wild. Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. Hey, next puzzle. Next puzzle. There's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. So maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. Um, related to the stash that we found by the Mad Hunter painting. Okay, let me look at this one more time. It might have something to do with this letter. No, nah, this letter has no information. It's Is just this guy any more cryptic. The bird, I'll miss you. And you this think is the a guy picture with of her him. Is Brent from the letter. I would guess so. So that's the fuck boy. So I guess she tried to change majors, but couldn't. Her parents probably wanted her to study something more practical. Marianne Ronan, the very definition of the word practical. Okay, so what I think this is going to be is an order of the way it happened in her life, perhaps. So up top we have um, a stallion, a bird, a fox, and a dog. Figured anything out yet? No, sis. No, sis, I haven't. 
Give me a hint. Uh, you're I'm not totally going. stumped. You're not going to tell me anything useful. The ballerina. So the ballerina checks out. I'm going to choose that. Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. All these pictures. They look like images from Marianne's life before Delos, don't they? Well, yes. some of them do anyway. Maybe that's it then. We need to figure out which ones are real. I think this is a symbol for engineering, if I'm not mistaken. The wise princess looks like she's trying to run away. And she's being watched by the gold lady. Hmm. Maybe not. And then we have here four men. One with a hatchet, one with an art um, thing, a sword. And then what's this guy holding? What's that guy holding? A saw? I think the closest is the artist. Hmm. What's the gold lady doing? Whispering something into someone's ear behind the princess's back? Huh. What does this one do when I click it? No. Okay. I think I'm right. And then the last one. Her bird. She had a pet bird. She had a pet bird. Is the gold lady setting the animals free? Judging from the broomstick, I'd say she's getting rid of them, not setting them free. Okay, that's not it. Is it? Nope. So I'm right. Because they're only saying things about the things I'm picking. So shouldn't something happen? Nope. It's this. I got them all right. Am I missing something? Figured anything out yet? Uh, nah, still thinking. I'm gonna go check over here. One more again. Yeah. Oh, poor thing. Oh shit. You think Marianne's mom took away her pet? Why would she do that? Maybe as a kind of punishment or just- I chose the symbol for medicine? Okay, okay. Okay, that's it. It's not engineering. I chose medicine. Let me go back. Um. Oh shit, it's actually probably this one. There we go. It? It's opening. Her! Okay, here What's we go. What's in there this time? Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young. We're getting to the bottom of this mystery. Happy. I'm so excited to find out what's going on. What's been going on for our entire lives. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Oh, so that's how she found the house. Tammy. Her father. Oh, Lord. Mary Ann, I hope this letter finds you, but since you didn't leave any contact information, I will have to send it to your aunt and hope for the best. I am writing to inform you that your mother passed away last week. We just had her funeral reception. The house has been filled with people all day. Friends, family, colleagues, and church members. It's now 11 p.m., and I'm sitting alone at the kitchen table, surrounded by dozens of trays of food, flowers, and sympathy cards. Your cousin... Uh, 80 brought in a beautiful photo album full of holiday pictures in La Connor. You're there in all of them, but you weren't here today. We haven't heard from you in four years and can only hope you made it to Alaska or wherever you are and that you and your child are both safe. Your mother had been sick and depressed for years and you can imagine why. The pain of being shunned by her own daughter. Wow. Our dad is blaming us for her i mean our grandfather blamed our mother for his wife's aka her mother's our grandmother's death the pain of being shunned by her own daughter knowing she would never get to see her grandchild growing up is spread through her body like cancer and consumed her completely all this suffering 
simply because you ran away like a temperamental little girl instead of accepting her help when you got pregnant out of wedlock after jumping out of college and without a penny to your name. She only stepped up to help because she knew you weren't ready to raise a child properly, Mary Ann. A mother's duty doesn't end when her children leave home. Now that you're a mother yourself, I hope you will begin to understand that good parenting isn't about coddling children. It's about providing for them and shaping them into the people they're supposed to become, whether they like it or not. I won't trouble you again. You've made your intentions clear. I just thought you should know. Dad. Fuck him. What the hell? Marianne was pregnant in 1992, before she even got here. Before us. Yeah, I was I was Do catching we have a that. Long lost sibling out there somewhere. It's possible, Jeez, we have a long lost been sibling. Miscarried. Who knows? Damn. Yeah, right. Their mama had a lot of secrets. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. Me You're either. not at all excited about having more family. No. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. That Fine. part. Tyler always deal? makes sense. Tyler is the only person who makes sense consistently. Why would you want to get to know that person who wrote that letter? Salmonberry Park, Kodiak, Kodak, Kodiak Island. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. June. It's so weird to imagine her living in a community like that with, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Mary Ann when the whole town was turning on us? The last part was passive aggressive. 1992, June, don't be a stranger. Keep on looking for those answers to the questions in your head to which you're blind. I mean, that's Miss Bulb. Smiley face, Shelly. We miss you already, Saul and Bronwyn. Sorry we're losing you to modern civilization. We'll miss your positive attitude and your adventurous spirit. Also, your wild edibles picking skills. Bon voyage, Marianne. Okay, yeah, people liked her. Okay. Mary, I mean, the more I learn about this woman, the more sympathy I have for her. All right, we've looked at everything. Let's back up and do the next puzzle. Time to do this one? This just lit up, so I think- What's this? Hmm. Some sort of map? One day she took her tiara and ran away to the forest. Yo, can we talk about how creative their mom is? Like the artwork, the storytelling, imagine like being so creative and um, almost emotionally intelligent to take all the pain and tribulations in your life and turning it into art. Like that is the best thing is channeling that into something creative. Cause not only are you able to get it all out and it's therapeutic for you, but other people can enjoy it. In her sure case, in the not so much because this was. Why don't we go take another look? This was hidden, but like, let's say she actually turned this into a book and published it. Kids would eat this shit up. Okay, one day she took her tiara and ran away to the forest. All right, so is it um clock ticking? Got the golden lady. A beaver and a bear, flowers, a castle, a clock. Mm. This is the princess's house. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. That's the gold lady's castle. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear, some sort of clock. Hmm. It seems like it's not doing anything. Maybe it's broken. Um, or maybe I did this the wrong way. Hmm. Okay, let's deselect. Let's deselect all of them. All right. 
Let me look at this again. Let me look at this again. All right. Do, 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 do. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Okay, so before she moved, so last would be the death of her mother. And then. This was the commune. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. Okay, that was June so 92. Weird to imagine her living in a community like that. June 92. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Okay, so the watchmaker. So this came before that. Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. And then the death. Okay. All right. I know the last three. I know the last three. So I'm guessing we start this with the princess's, the princess's house. house. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's the last one. Right? That looked like a curtain cabin. And then this would be right before the cabin. And then, or is it the castle? That's the gold lady's castle. So she left the castle. People were at the house for her funeral. Hold on, she, she was a watchmaker before the commune. Some sort of clock? Right. And then... What's that plant thing on top? Oh, that? those are definitely salmonberry flowers. And then hey, this? This looks like a dinner party with and the whole this. bear. This is the princess's amulet. Why That's is not nothing it. happening? That's not it. That's not it. All right, let's deselect it. I'm gonna look at this one more again. I'm gonna look at this one more again. Okay, so is this her parents' house or her house? That's our house, right? Wow, she worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. So this was no June wonder she was so 92. handy. July 92. And this was July of 92 as well, right? June. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Right. So I was Is right. That some kind of commune? Looks like it. It's so weird to imagine her living. Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. I don't know who the fuck Carol is. Look at him. He's I don't know so who the fuck Carol is. And happy. Y'all know who Both Carol is? Both of her is? parents kind of sound like jerks. I would have run away too. Okay, so if this is our house, I'm assuming this is our house, not her family house. Then it would go, wait, when was this letter? Both of her parents kind of sound like jerks. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would have run away too. So, okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Hopefully. Hopefully, I'm loving this puzzle. All right, let's deselect. Deselect, please. Everything. All right. So we would start out at the castle. That's the gold lady's castle. And then we would be a watchmaker. Some sort of clock. Watch me do the exact same thing I just did. What's that? This is the exact same thing, thing I just top. did, isn't it? This looks like a dinner party with the old. This is the princesses. Come on. Okay, that's not it. I think that is exactly what I did before. All right. Maybe it's this one. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old, some sort of clock. No, the dinner party is last, right? Shit. Last time. Last time. What was the, was there a date on this photograph? Is that Carol? Yeah. And Sam. I think I would be less confused if I knew who the fuck Carol was. Young. Is Carol I'm Sam's happy. husband or wife? Okay, then in that case, yeah, it would be here. And then deselect this. 
This, that's the right order. It would be going from her mama's house to being a watchmaker to being part of the commune. Oh, hold on. I, okay. Some sort of clock? Okay, wait, 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 wait. What's that plant thing wait, wait, wait. on top? This is wait, the wait, wait. princess's house. Let's switch these two. This looks like a dinner. Come on. Fuck! Bro, I'm getting so annoyed. Okay. Oh my gosh. Hold on, y'all. Don't help me yet. Corey, thank you so much for gifting a, a membership. I appreciate you. Mac, make sure you say thank you if you're in here. It very much is giving. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Where was this commune? Oh shit. It's glitched. Homegirl, what? Okay, let's look at this. Don't glitch, please. <sighs> Salmonberry Park. Huh. Yeah, June 92. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. Bro, so weird to imagine the commune a came before like this. With, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Marianne when the whole town was turning on us? Fuck. I just know I just need to switch to. But as mi I can't, I keep getting the same conclusion. She left her mama's house. And she became a watchmaker. And then she joined the commune. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe. That's the gold lady's castle. Maybe this is next. This looks like a dinner party with Maybe the old bear next. and the very old beef. Some sort of clock. What's that plant thing on top? This is the princess's. Come on. Fuck me, bro. I'm getting so triggered. Oh, my God. I've tried every combination I can think of. Okay, I'll just What's pick random shit. Plant thing on top. I'll just this pick random like shit. A dinner party with the some sort of clock. This is the princess's. Come on. Yeah, that's not correct, bro. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old. Okay. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely some sort of clock. I don't What's know if that I did this one. Plant thing on. This is the princess's. Come on. Bro, I'm about to Google this. I'm really about to Google this. The fuck? This should not be this hard. Why does everything not have a date on it? Like, how am I supposed to know which one came first? I don't know anything about Carol. And I don't know nothing about this picture. Oh my God, let me look at this letter again. Both of her parents kind of sound like jerks. I would have run away too. Let me, nope, I was trying to read it. I was trying to read it. Both of her parents kind of sound like jerks. I would have run away too. <sighs> okay, maybe the castle's last. Maybe the castle's last. Maybe the castle's last. Maybe that's it. So then in that case, it would be some sort of clock. this and this. What's that plant thing on top? And this. this looks like a dinner party with and the this. Old, that's the gold lady's castle. And this. This is the princess's. Come on. Nope. Okay. Okay. Let's try this. <sighs> Okay, let's try. This is the princess's house. This and this. What's that plant thing on top? Bro! Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. How am I supposed to know what goes first? Go ahead and tell me the answer. I'm tired of going through this. Go ahead and give me the answer. 
how am I supposed to know when she had dinner with homies, whoever who the woman is? I'm this so like fucking annoyed by this. With the old bear and the very old beaver. Because none of these events have anything to do with each other. Castle. That's the gold lady's castle. And berries. What's that plant thing on then top? Then clock. Oh, those some sort of clock. Then house. This is the princess's house. Then dinner. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear oh and God. the very old beaver. Yes. Uh, I was What's so close. Another letter? Thank you for the help. The princess's loss. Is this from the Book of Goblins? Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be. Okay, the princess is lost. Once upon a time, in an ancient and deep forest, there lived a wise princess in a big wooden house. She had made it through the woods into that house with nothing left but the clothes on her back and a single item from her old life, a splendid tiara. She lost almost everything in her desperate fight, flight from the mad hunter. The trees tore the rucksack from her back and shredded her dress and left a pattern of red welts on her skin. But through it all, she clutched the tiara close to her chest, fearing any misstep could cause her to fall from, cause it to fall from her arms and break. A wooden house. The tiara had its own spot in the big wooden house, a pillow near the window where sun would catch it on a surface, shine and wink. The princess could stare for hours at the tiara, marveling at its beauty and running her thumb down its curves. Every morning she would wake and she would tend to it polishing every surface then she would pluck it up put it on her head walk in the woods and feel somehow more complete because what after all was a princess without a crown every night she would place it upon her pillow give it a quick kiss imagine kissing your tiara that's wild and go to bed on her way she would pause and glance back to make sure it was still there she hated to be separated from it but she knew it was the safest on the pillow while she slept okay one night, the princess woke to a raging storm. The wind howled against the walls, rattling the windows in their panes. Fearing a gust might burst open a window and blow the tiara to the ground, she plucked it from its pillow and brought it to bed with her. All throughout the night, she held the tiara close, and in the morning, she woke to find herself still cradling it. The storm had passed, and the princess relaxed. That day was the same as any other, though she perhaps gave the tiara an even more thorough cleaning, grateful as she was that nothing had gone wrong. That night, she placed the tiara upon its pillow, gave it a quick kiss, and went to bed, pausing on her way to make sure it was still there. In the morning, she woke and sensed immediately that something was wrong. In the living room, the tiara lay upon the ground, broken, dull, and faded. Nothing else in the room had changed. The pillow was exactly where she had left it. The window was closed. There had been no storm, no wind, no sign that anything at all could have gone amiss. Only the broken tiara mute upon the ground. She picked it up and held it in her arms with a guttural cry, but though she tried to fix it and polish it, it was gone, beyond repair, with no shine left. The princess held the tiara through the day and through the next night, sitting in the same spot at the window where she used to polish it. When the sun rose, she looked outside and her gaze fixed on a sapling. She remembered how this sapling had survived the winter, clinging to life despite the frozen unforgiving earth without a word she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling and as a final scoop of dirt fell the tiara felt truly gone and with it the final link to her old self so is the tiara a euphemism for her child that she lost and as the final scoop as the dirt fell she felt truly gone and with it a final link to her old self she could only go forward and find a new place for herself in the world where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. My God, how long is this? Okay, no, that's the restart. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. Right? Is she talking about her baby? The title. That was the story she read us that night. God. It makes sense now. Yeah. She got pregnant. And 
She ran away to start a new life. Vibe check. How are y'all liking the last chapter of this? And then of this epic she made her way to Delos saga of a game. Where she was finally On a scale happy. of one to ten, one being it's terrible, you hate being here, and ten being you're absolutely obsessed. But then the baby died. can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind. Built a whole new life for him. Ten ten tens across the board. He was just gone. Thanks, guys. Even if you're lying to me, I appreciate it. I guess having us helps her move on. But when it looked like we were going to be taken away, she snapped. Yeah. She just couldn't lose any more children. Yeah. It really wasn't anything we did. Yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but all I wanted was to understand what happened to her. And now I do. Yeah. But we still haven't seen what's in that chest. Oh, Lord. Okay, so how do we open it? The princess lost her most precious treasure. That's why it all happened. I still can't wrap my head around it. All right, should be easy enough. <laughs> all right, what are these symbols? Oh, Lord. O L R S E A R. Okay. Oh, it didn't tell me to look at this. Hold on. The princess lost her most precious treasure. That's why it all happened. I still yeah, can't wrap my head around it. This. Are there any hints around here? At all? I don't think there's a story. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Should be easy enough. <laughs> Do we just guess? Are these like the initials? Like, just random fucking numbers. I mean, name uh, letters. There's O S E R A. Is it like an actual word? Or are they initials? Yo, I need a hint. I need a hint. We'll let the mangy muskrat have his rock back. Back in your pond, big frog. There you go, stalwart moose. The ice king goes in the forest, obviously. Gold lady stays locked up in her castle. Here, the secret keeper, hiding secrets in the clouds. Hey. Okay. We found a lot of collectibles, bro. Crafty goblins go here. The moon hag's got to be imprisoned in her lake. That's the pious pelican spot. The wise princess goes in the big wooden house, of course. I guess we're just missing more. Oh, not you pushed me out the way. Sis, chill. 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 I don't see nothing resembling no type of letters. Okay. Oh. Oh. L O E. 
O L E. Ole? Why don't we just break this open? There's a crowbar right downstairs. Wait, hold on. What? No. You don't want to try and figure e out what all orange. this means? I'm so done with her riddles. Yes. Leo, that was the name of the kid? What's happening? Oh, God, Marianne was so cool. This is Whoa. awesome. Did it just get darker in here? Oh, no. It's addressed oh, to us. She, uh, she noticed. That was Dear... her son. Oh, my God. Dear Allison and Ollie, Rewrite stories to understand and be understood. Well, what good is a story without a first act? I'm sorry I kept mine from you for so long. All my love, goblins. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Oh, shit. That's our brother. Is that... Leo Ronan. <sighs> Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... Yep. Even if it's hard. And there's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Yo, it's really December 29th. That's Come wild. on. Let's go to the dock. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's time to finish this. It's time to finish this. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? I mean, did we miss anything? I guess we could stay a little longer if you think there's more to find. The very old beaver's repair list. That's the story where the princess's house gets damaged by a storm and the animals. Oh, these are optional puzzles, but I'm yeah. gonna do them. I'm gonna what do one hundred percent completion. Um shit, I wasn't listening, I was too busy talking. Uh, I'm pretty sure these puzzles are optional, but I want one hundred percent completion. Um The Beaver fixes the house. Uh, once upon a time, shook the singles from plank from the walls. They even shook the, the princess head in the closet. In the morning, the house was still standing. It was very the shingles blown off the roof and planks on the walls and even bent. The first two things she could fix, but the last, what we'll do, just spirit. Anything she didn't know how to fix the wall in the house. Is that princess? Let me do that for you. I'm happy to do that, but it'll be good. Um, help with the roof when the repair is done. The repair is done. The roof and the walls. They examine the bent support post. I could throw my body against it. Um, do, 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 roof on the walls, then the beam, do it against precious thud, perhaps she can help, okay, let's see, so it was the roof first, uh, she fixed the roof shingles, and then the wall, she fixed the planks that were blown off the walls, and then, she slapped the post with, all right, <laughs> Why can't they all be that fucking yeah. easy, bro? That must have been rough on Eddie. Yeah, um, he, uh, he you... doesn't really like to talk about her. Dear Marianne, you cover your ears every time I try to have this conversation with you, so I thought I'd have a better chance doing this in a letter. I know you don't like saying goodbye, so I'll keep my melancholic rambling short and sweet. I want to thank you with all my heart for taking care of me for these past few months. I can't imagine how exhausting it must have been for you to look after a sick old lady when you also have two small children at home. I know you want to keep me to keep fighting this disease and hoping for recovery, but it's always been a great strength of mine to know when it's time to let go. And that time has come. I'd like to ask you for one last favor. Please take care of Eddie after I'm gone. My poor boy puts on a brave front ever since his father died, but 
I know he's in pain. I would be so much... Sorry, y'all. This is just reminding me of my grandmother. Because this woman also passed away from cancer. I would be so much more at peace knowing he still has his family. Maybe he could teach the kids how to fish. He loves spending time with them. Thank you for the warmth and the peace you brought to my life. Give the kids a kiss for me, would you? Okay. <clears throat> what else do we have left? This one? The crafty goblin's good deeds. Of course. Good deeds. All right, where's that one? The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. Okay, so is there a story about a pelican? The pelican and her friends. Let's see. Uh, oh. Do, 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 do. The pelican helps her friends. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, an early winter storm blanketed everything in snow. It was so early. Thanks for the hearts, guys. Thanks for the hearts. The princess had grown up in a kingdom where it was sunny all year. Um, Hold up. Is Twitch chat still working? I haven't seen chat moving in like at least 15 minutes. Refresh. Or is it just quiet? Yeah, it's just quiet. Okay. Um, sorry. Um, the forests were not yet ready for an ordinary winter, much less a bad one. And everyone agreed the storm was assigned the ice. Mm, let me start over. I'm really not internalizing any of this. Um, an early winter storm blanketed everything in snow. It was early in the year. The princess had grown up in a kingdom where it was sunny all year long. The goblins were very young, so no one in the wood house knew how to prepare for winter. The house was well insulated, and they did was not well insulated, and they did not have enough fuel or food. Only the pelican noticed their plight, aka Tess. And when it came to fly south with the other birds, her heart was heavy with sadness. What can I do? She thought, "I'm a migratory bird, and if I were to stay, who would look after my flock?" The time come to go and the pelican struggled to take flight it felt as though a leaden weight were stuck right in center of her test what can i do if i were to stay who will look after my flock she managed to take off but only barely flopping fearlessly to catch up with the other birds as the pious pelican began her journey the storm picked up battering her to and fro she had fallen well behind the flock she was growing tired. She could tell things were much worse on the ground. A deep freeze had settled all over the forest. What can I do, she thought, on a migratory board. And if I were to stay, so she's talking about, like, traveling and not staying in one place for too long. The storm intensified. The pelican was in a total whiteout. She knew she should have despaired, but all she could feel was the weight, which had grown and grown, and she thought she might drop out of the sky. She felt she had felt called to help the princess and the goblins, but she had ignored it. I should have stayed, she thought. It was the right thing to do, and now I'm lost with no way to make it right. Suddenly, she was plucked from the sky and deposited in the hall of the Ice King. Pelican, he said. You were flying in circles around my mountain. I was lost, weighted down by the weight of guilt in my heart. The Ice King stared at her sagely. Is it guilt or is it something else? Open your beak. The prize pelican was surprised at how it filled her with warmth. Chasing away cold and her doubt. You know what you must do, said the Ice King. Um, Pelican flew straight to the big wooden house. Snow had already begun to blow through many cracks and ice crept up the floorboards. She found the princess and the goblins huddled in front of the quiet hearth, nearly frozen solid. No, she cried. And then she placed the stone in the princess's lap. The warmth of it spread throughout the entire house, melted all that had been frozen. The prince, the princess threw her arms around the pelican's chest, and the goblins clung to her legs. Thank you, they cried. You're welcome, said the pelican, smiling in deep satisfaction. What is that? asked the princess, staring at the wonderful st stone. 
At first, said the pelican, I thought it was my guilt, but when the Ice King pulled it out of me, I realized it was something much more powerful. Just then, the storm broke and the skies cleared. The pelican filled the big wooden house larder with food from her beak, and then she took to the skies, lightened by the knowledge that through her charity, everyone in the big wooden house would be warm and fed until spring. And that is the story of how the pious pelican saved the wise princess and the crafty goblins from the long winter. That is about Tess, right? Right? Okay, so we have the options to drop the beehive, get help, hug the princess, feed the two goblins, remove the thorn, scratch the moose. See the stone, see the pel, they're hugging the pelican. So cute. Okay, let me go this one more time. The storm, she didn't know how to prepare. And a migratory board. I'm assuming that's the right story. Let me double check. It's gotta be, there's nothing else it could possibly be. Very hungry, foraging for food. They were king crabs, purple urchin, urchins. Okay, they talking about food. That ain't what this is. Okay, I'm going to the crafty goblins good deeds. I'm going to say, Ah, uh -huh. they broke open the beehive for the bear. Uh -huh. They removed a thorn from the frog's back. They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch on the back. Huh? They had to give nuts to the muskrat. Okay, this is a totally different story. They hugged the princess when she was crying. They helped fix the beaver dam. That clearly is the wrong story. That clearly is the wrong story. And so the princess make new friends. Oh, we did this one already, right? Crafty goblins, the princess. Yeah, no. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's not it. That's not it. Let's see. The big frog is punished. Princess kissing the frog. Okay, this got the bear, the frog, the princess, mad hunter. Okay, it's not that one. Goblins earn their voice. The goblin saved the old beaver. Is it this one? The very old beaver had been working on a dam when the new rivers flooded. Brother. Nope, I don't think it's that one. I don't think that's it. Um, the Ice King, the goblins meet the ice troll, the muskrat. Um, the muskrat was a lazy creature cleaning his beautiful coat. He was too cavalier to confront them. Playing on the mountain, it's not like the horse she could do anything. The hornets emerged. Hornets, basic. We found the story. We found the story. Perfect. All right. So the muskrat was lazy. Found the goblins. Um, retreated to safe. Then he pitched a stone right at the hornet's nest hanging overhead. Once the goblins saw him do it, but before she could say anything, hornets emerged. The muskrat claimed his spot. When the goblins returned, they asked him, "Why did you do that?" The goblins knew that the muskrat cared for nothing but his coat. What happened to make your skin so shiny? The muskrat looked at the pool skeptically, looked at the pool. That's when the coat, when he emerged, the muskrat, because being stunned, would be playing soon. Hornets to me. Do, 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 do. 
Let's go cry pitifully. Is this the right story? Moose. Crafty goblins were hungry. This wasn't unusual. The goblins were always hungry, but today they were particularly hungry. They opened the princess's cupboard, looked for a shot. The goblins grabbed all they could. They were still hungry. The goblins crept up the pile, careful not to wake the big frog. And after the frog, really the moose, the moose, the goblins got their food, really. All right then, berries, hungry. Can I have that? It really is the moose, the moose is. Be sure to tell the princess I was kind to you and don't steal my fish again. The goblins follow the stalwart moose to be part of the river. Okay. All right. Um, can I deselect all of these? Or not. Uh, Wait. Did we scratch the moose? We fed them, helped them. Don't hug the princess. Wait. I think. Don't do that. Shit. I think it's like three stories combined into one. Love how into solving this puzzle Sadie's is. Hi Nelly, how are you doing? Sorry, I'm I'm solving this hard ass puzzle. I didn't see your message until now. I hope you're doing good. I was watching you play Texas Chainsaw yesterday while I was lurking in Honey's stream. I forgot what you said, but it was wild. You were talking about tw you were talking about twin flames i think while playing texas chainsaw something like that it was funny um okay do 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 no not that let's go back to the moose do we scratch the moose is there anything in there about that uh, the goblins crept up, rubbed it loudly, gobbled it up, gobbled it, swallow it, dripped down side of it. Food. Old bear, salmon, berries, rock. Hmm. Hmm. Over here, Mo. Scrub the antlers of the moose clean. They sat by the river with the muskrat listening. Bro. The way I am going to try my best to get this correct. All right, if I leave, will it restart? The crafty goblin's good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. They dropped the beehive, right? Or is that a different story? Um, she was the opposite. They ran, keeping in touch with the gift of the voice. Is this the right story? My, there's so many stories that this could be. And all these stories as long as hell. That's not the right story. My God in heaven, this is taking so long. <sighs> the crafty goblins good deeds. I don't know, bro. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. Actually, I'm not sure. Ah! <laughs> uh! 
Okay, the goblin saved the beaver. How did y'all irritate the ice king? Um, so they scratched. I'm guessing they scratched the moose's antlers because he itched terribly. The muskrat was crying. The bro, I do not know. I do not know. They scrubbed the Moses antlers. They sat by the river with the Ruskrat. Oh my God. I'm about to Google this. I have no idea. I have no idea. This is all jumbled up in my head now. I'm assuming they scratched this. They gave the stalwart Moose a good scratch on the back. And then other than that, I don't know. Actually, I'm not sure. I don't think I didn't see nothing about hugging no princess. Maybe not. They helped fix the beaver dam. They broke open the beehive for the bear. Okay, just give me the answer, bro. This this puzzle is not that interesting for me to keep coming back to it. I'm about to Google it. Huh. They had to give nuts to the weight. They broke open the beehive for the bear. Wait. They hugged the princess when she was crying. Huh. They had to give nuts to the muskrat. They removed a thorn from the frog's back. Is that the last puzzle? Yeah, I think so. Right? We did this one. All right. Mm. Crafty goblins' good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. Maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time and I'm leaving. Because we don't have to do this puzzle. The they broke open the beehive for the bear. Wait. Broke open the beehive for the bear. Or not. Huh. They had to give nuts to the muskrat. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. Whatever. I tried. Let's get out of here. You really wanna go? You sure we've seen everything? Yeah, let's go. Either way, I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. All right, let's solve this mystery. We're supposed to go to like some tree over here. Right? No, just what kidding. What are we waiting for? I want to know who was here that night. I want to know too, sis. Let's try and remember who Marianne was arguing with. When I tell you Sadie says patience, I would have been quick and play. <laughs> Nothing would make me play. Tom? Tom Vecchi is our father? Of course. It had to be him. Tessa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne and Tom? I know. I told y'all! I told y'all he was too inquisitive with it! Make him tell us what was going on. 
And if he won't? We know his secret. Thank you for the 10 spoke. Appreciate you. Tom? Thank you. It's Allison. We need to talk. I told y'all it was Tom. No, no, he was mad was sus with it. Him and his crooked ass wife. Yo, what's going to happen now? Is this the final boss scene? Bay, we bid new? Bye, we been new. He gonna try to kill us, ain't he? Let me take the lead on this. I You've been, better. can you imagine having a job working full time sure. for your what daddy and not knowing this whole time he's your daddy? Seeing him every damn day and not knowing he's your daddy? And that his wife calls CPS on um, what would basically be her stepkids? You motherfucker. Kids, listen. Nah. You're a father. Nah, we're not we're not falling for anything you're about to say. Nah. <laughs> we're not falling for nothing you're about to say. Yes. Ebony, thank you so much for the 23 months. I really you appreciate knew it. How thank bad you. It got out here. How you been? How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. It, you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported Your wife it. knew the whole and time. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. You cheated on your wife and had two children out of, through an affair. And then so your decision to support the children was to allow their mother to steal from your wife. Oh, I'm sorry. This is this is fucking messy. This is on some Jerry Springer shit. You were here that night. You saw Marianne and Tyler. Why didn't you help? I know it wasn't my best moment. But she threatened my life. So you just decided to let her drown? I didn't decide. No, she anything. threatened your comfort. Everything happened so fast, I panicked. And by the time I Cuz he didn't want to pay child Tom support. Was already on his way out. There was nothing else I could do. You piece of shit. trying really hard to keep myself from punching him in the face. Does he really expect us to believe there wasn't anything else he could have done that night? I don't know, Ellie. I'd rather not think about it. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I Why is Allison still it? doing all the talking, you bro? You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want? to say i panicked his fucking voice i was terrified annoying. that this whole thing was gonna blow up in my face i had to do something it's like he's a sociopathic mr rogers he's not even the least bit sorry for what he did he could have seriously hurt you yeah he's just a fucking coward that part. So what do we do now? We tell him he's got to fix the mess he made, one way or another. You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want, as long as none of this gets out. Wow. Excuse me. Wow. You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. Is it killer? Tessa already knows, Tom. 
Imagine pretending like you're trying to no. protect your wife. That's... That's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? Uh, I... But she... She never said anything. So did Tessa call child pe like uh, CPS? You should try talking to your wife. Because she was jealous? Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. Bro, oh my god, this is so messy. Oh my god. Maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. This is so messy. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. That's our mother. Okay. You preyed on her or you abandoned her? You abandoned her. And you just couldn't risk being there when it happened. Even though it meant leaving her to raise kids out here all by herself. Tell her. None of this would have happened if you'd man the fuck up. Man the fuck up. I didn't up. have a choice. I know it shouldn't have happened. How much is child support in Alaska? Can't be that much no. to want the woman dead. Your mother was... An angel, an artist. Woman. Ooh. And she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would have. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. Love? But you didn't this love her. will not go any further than the three of us. The fucking won't. Why? I'm telling everybody. I'm I taking know. out an ad in knows. the paper. Marianne's extra, extra dead. real no about it. Tom is a fuck boy. Fuck boy. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Oh, Am you I won't wrong? be, you won't be mayor in these streets. Jesus Bird man God. hands. Wait, wait on it. www.tomisanasshole.com. Well, yeah. Just bought the domain. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how many. How did she that die? Night, I came out here because I was worried about your mother. Yo, what? What? Hold on, no. Let me get my blanket. It's about to be. This is about to be juicy. So hold on. So before we thought, we thought Tyler killed the woman. Then we thought Allison killed the woman. So it wasn't either one of them. Hey, oh! They made me do it. They made me do it. Why did they do it? This is his fault. This is his fault. I don't trust whatever version of the story he's about to tell. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. She does look a little bit out of it, though. She's gone through so much. Every single person, her mama failed her, her daddy failed her, her lover failed her, her kids killed her. Her best friend, well, I mean, to be honest, she did have an affair. She did make some poor choices. She didn't deserve to die for that. This whole time, the Mad Hunter was their dad and their boss and her mother's lover and her best friend's husband. Away, I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> so that is what happened. And what was he talking about? How she really died. I mean, there was, that was no new information. None. What was the point of that? No. No way. You're a fucking liar. I saw what I saw. Ugh! You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her. Tyler, 
You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? You've got way more here to lose than he does. His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? I mean, and to be Michael? fair, she's always hmm? been a killer. Well, the whole town might turn on you. Allison, don't be don't as terrible as I think you me. are. <clears throat> Damn. You know I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please. Think twice before making any rash decisions. You're letting him go? There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone. And never come back. That was a lot closer. My need for justice is not being satiated right now. I need justice. No justice, no peace. Allie, you okay? He didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? I've been having all of these nightmares about that night, and they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head. Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler. skin crawling because <laughs> Allison is touching Tyler's hand. I I tried y'all. Y'all, I'm, I'm so locked in on, on this. <laughs> she had a gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. Shit, I'm not gonna have to choose which version I wanna believe. My- She threatened Tom with those exact same words, with the same gun on the same pier. Please don't make me choose this. The thing you said to Please. Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? Please, bro, don't let me choose this. I guess it's possible. You're gonna make me choose. Fuck. Fuck. So I have to choose between I, believing I our mother know. tried to kill us 
or believing that my sister killed our mother for no fucking reason. And we're never gonna Those know Those choices truth, suck. Because the second you walk away from something, that's it. Yeah. I guess at this point, you just have to decide what Duh! you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose, you gotta live with it. I know what I'm picking. Okay. If they give me the option, I know exactly what I'm picking. I'm not gonna hesitate. Yeah. I'm going to kill you. God. Okay, here's the thing. They both have the same memory. But nothing that we have learned about Marianne in the 10 hours we played this game, even if she had like some sort of a meltdown, would signify that she would come after her kid with a shotgun and scream, I'm going to kill you. Plus, I fucking hate Allison. How can it hurt you? I'm making that decision. Damn. How can I hurt you? Oh, please. No, don't do this. kill herself just herself yeah that that checks out that checks out you interrupted her and yeah we we got confused yeah are you sure yes that attic Tyler that was meant for us it was her way of of explaining what she was going through. I made a horrible mistake. <laughs> hey, hey, it's okay. I'm here. what I just found downstairs. What do you think? A little aged well, or just gone bad? This is rough. This is rough. Where are you at right now? I just keep hearing her say she wasn't going to hurt you. Over and over. We were kids. We freaked out. We weren't equipped to deal with that shit. She was just talking. Why are we consoling her? And I. Tyler still I lost 10 her. years of his life. Stop. <laughs> I don't want to use our voice again. Ever. What? Seriously? I fucking hate Allison. I know. But I want to stop feeling like this. And I think we'll be better off without it. This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions. Of you and Marianne and Eddie. Visions? Like our memories? 
Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. Oh God, I, I'm so fucking out. tired I of just, people. Oh my God. I can't let that happen again. I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have If them. one more person apologizes Maybe to I'm her. Not. Has she said an apology and to anyone in this bad, game? We can stop. But I really want to keep what makes us us. The mad hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the moon hat. But she did not kill him, because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted what do you the day think? he would emerge. Brothers and sisters? To once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the mad hunter. I don't like this ending. Where, what about Tom? Where's the justice? When are we gonna confront Tess? Is Tyler going to get exonerated and have his record clean and expunged? Is this supposed to be a happy ending? <laughs> I swear to God, if, if it ends right here, this will be one of the worst endings to a game I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'm not, I don't want to say it, but the way I need justice, I need justice. I need justice. I need justice. I need someone to pay for this. Sorry. That's just the way I'm built. I need someone to lose their marriage. I need, I need someone to get maybe a financial restitution i need something more six months later okay is homie in prison like what's going on i mean what would he go to prison for but still hey a nice haircut One last look, and I'm good to go. Hey, it's me. Hey, me. <laughs> House is empty. I'm getting ready to head out, so last chance. Is there anything you want me to do while I'm in town? Listen, Ty, you're dropping off the keys with Tina, right? Yep, gonna leave him at her office on my way to the ferry. Well, that's it then. How's Juno? Big and full of people, even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against his whole food policy. Just refuse to sign anything until I get there. Okay? Okay, but you better hurry. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? Heresy. I'm gonna need, like, twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next month. I know, right? This cannot stand. Bye, girl. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna hang no, up now. No, go back. I wanna know... <laughs> I wanna know about Tom. Okay. God damn it, that option wasn't there before. I'm gonna through the house and then heads the ferry. Drive safe. Fuck. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible Fuck. in the old Alice's Mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you. What happened to Tom? 
I'm so pissed. That option was not there the first time I asked her a question. Man. Maybe they'll give me some information. Maybe it'll be in the news headlines, whatever happened. Uh, so we're video chatting, not video chatting. We're, we're chatting with Michael. Must be relieved to finally be done with this place. No doubt. If traffic's not too bad, I should be back at a place around 4 p.m. Uh, on your way, grin emoji. Uh, let's grab our laptop. Definitely gonna need that. Don't wanna need it. Man, we're leaving our childhood home, bro. Now, what is this letter? Let's look at this. All these photos. Because, you know, we're sentimental and all that. Um, who's this from? Before I, who the fuck is Skipper? Oh, Sam. Sam, the alcoholic, right? Dear Allison and Tyler, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to send this, so I hope it will reach you. Heard from Laura that you finally sold the house. I'm guessing you'll both be on your way out soon. I'm staying in a little cabin on the Tanaki River that the, the owner's letting me stay if I can help fix his boat. Still a grifter. Love it. It's been nice to start over. My sponsor at AA says it's important I don't completely erase the past. Something about being a part of my history. You two have been an important part of everything. And so I hope you won't mind me writing this letter, even though words in me sometimes get twisted up. You both have had busy lives, but I'd really, it'd be really great if we could meet sometimes. Step nine of recovery is about making amends. So I hope that with everything that happened, you guys might let old Sam apologize for all the hurt I did. What did Sam do? Out of everything that all the people in the story did, I cannot remember what Sam did other than sleep with our mom. I don't know. I could drive to Juno, Juno, or you can come visit Tanaki. That nice pullout. One of them kind of smells funny though. Haha, <laughs> got you nice. Please take care of yourselves. I adopted a dog. Cute. All right, anything in the bathroom I need to take? Props not. Okay, let's go check the bedroom. Goodbye room. Goodbye room. Goodbye, man on the moon. For posterity. That is a huge ass room. All right, we took a picture of the empty room, sent it to our sister. Nothing there. Sent two goblin emojis. Cute. All right. I think that's all she wrote. Someone's going to university, perhaps? Huh. Well, at least she finally dumped his ass. Tessa, we get to finally find out. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you, game, because I was really worried about what happened to Tom, and now we're going to find out. Dearest Tyler and Allison, I am writing this letter from the Juno International Airport, where I will soon board a plane to Manila. She's going to the Philippines on a missionary assignment. I apologize for not coming in person to say goodbye, but I was called to make this, this decision alone and to carry it out on my own as well. I am sure you understand that sometimes we must follow without question the prompting of the spirit. I will not be coming back to Dalos Crossing for some time. Before I go, there is still something I feel I must confess to you both. Perhaps because I have never found the strength to confront my husband, I have never been able to forgive Marianne for her betrayal. I truly did love you both like my own children, and I always tried to forgive your mother for her unapologetic lifestyle. That's a cute way of saying your best friend slept with your man and had twins by him. 
But when I discovered that you were the fruit of her affair with my Thomas, I wanted her to suffer like I was suffering. And I brought down on your house the wrath I never dared to dared allow to unfold in mine. I've been deeply ashamed all these years and I'm surprised how much better I feel with it out in the open. The greatest thing about truth is the peace it brings to your life. I hope you can find it in your hearts to forgive me. You have taught me once again how love will bring you further in life. Something that Marianne had been trying to show me all along. Take care. Hold on, that didn't say anything about her leaving Tom. It's, it just looked like she was taking a trip. A mission and a mission. Suck. Thomas Anthony Fecky. Okay, finally, here we go. Here we go. Tom loses his mayoral collection election against current Mayor Leslie Scout. Mayor Leslie Scout declared victory in her bid for re-election over controversial challenger Thomas Vecchi. With almost 60% of the vote, Scout's triumph was the biggest, was the widest margin of victory in Dados County history. Her rival, local business owner Vecchi, sparked much debate in the community over his gun control policies, but Scow's success has been mainly attributed to her willingness to reach across party lines. Many in the community say her re-election came as no surprise. According to sources close to the city council, Scow invited Vecchi to join her mayoral cabinet, but Vecchi refused. This is not justice. So he lost his mayor campaign and he got offered a position in the cabinet still? Becky declined to comment on the election results except to say that he plans to focus on his family and other business pursuits so he still has a family. He's still with her. Tess is still with him. Same, some in the community were baffled by his comments given the recent shuttering of Becky's business, the highly popular Tess's Cafe. Managed by his wife, Tessa Vecchi, in a separate statement, Miss Vecchi announced that she was ending her thriv thriving business to focus on personal and spiritual matters. Again, so they're still married. Man, fuck this ending, bro. I need fire and brimstone. I need someone to pay. This was a tragic fucking game and everyone just goes on? What? We looked at everything. Let's get out of this house, bro. Well, this is goodbye for real, I guess. It's Ty, Tyler Ronan. I uh, thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going long with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> Who's Aaron? I, I know I haven't reached out since I left Firewood, oh, okay. but a friend from back I there. just wanted to say, well, you were right about grief, about it going in circles. This morning, I was out on the porch staring at the fog and my mother, she, she just tumbled right out of me. I mean, they went but it 10 was okay. years of their life. It <clears throat> felt good to remember. Believing that their mother tried to kill her. Hating their mother their anyway, entire lives almost. Uh, give me a call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around. Do they ever and 
call their mom mom? Thank you. Or they still call her Marianne? I needed a moment for them to be like, I don't know. I got a, I got an achievement. The twins having a strong bond. Allison was grateful they completed Marianne's puzzle. Okay, Allison was influenced by Tom sent zero percent. <laughs> what? I'm the only person that picked Tom's testimony. It was the only one that made sense. Why would their mother try to kill them? At no point in the whole entire game did their mother come across as violent or evil. 5% let go of their voice, 95% held on to their voice. Okay, we kept our voice. Eddie was relieved that Allison accepted responsible for the murder. 67% confessed the truth, okay. Um, most people did not confront Sam about his addiction. I am, I'm not always gonna confront that. Um, we kissed Michael. 29% of people were homophobic and did not kiss Michael. I'm happy with all of these decisions I made. I'm happy with all of these decisions I made. Oh Lord, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Heavy. I've never had a game end with a disclaimer like this. Wait, is this before or after? Wrong chapter? Is the wrong chapter? This is the wrong chapter. No, it's not. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. All right, I just want to see. You knew how bad it got out here. How I just want to see what happens if we choose a different decision. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler on- I'm skipping all this dialogue. I'm just trying to get to the decision. Um, okay, let's talk to each other again. Hey, are you hearing me? Skip. He's not even the least bit sorry for what he did. Skip. He could have seriously- You were here that night. You saw me. Skip. Does he really expect us to believe there wasn't anything else he could have done that night? So Yo. what do we do now? My gosh, can we just skip to the decision, bro? You failed us, Tom. You. That was convenient for you, huh? You preyed on her because she was vulnerable. And you knew you could always blame it on crazy Marianne Ronan if you got caught. It was nothing like that. 
Nothing at all. Your mother was a very pretty woman. That night I came. Are we finally at the dock now? No. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Something's off because he put this in your head. Don't let him get away. I think this should be it now, hopefully. Yes. I'm going to kill you! I'm going to kill you! I'm going to kill you! No, don't do this! Yeah, I like my- I still like my choice better. What? We all want to see the second ending. lying. Marianne couldn't face being separated from her kids again. And the only way to make sure that never happened was for all of us to go together. I know it in my heart. I saved you. I saved us. I know. You did the right thing. You want to go back inside? Yeah. I rolled my eyes so hard, they almost fell in the back of my head, bro. Okay, is anything else change or is all the same? Cheers, I guess. Oh, she's still in a foul ass mood. Got you. I can't believe Tom thought we'd buy that story. And that I almost did. Yeah, I still can't believe he and Marianne. What the hell did she see in him? That's she a great question. Really, really lonely after she lost Leo. I could never get that lonely. Me either. Listen. With everything that's been going on, it got me thinking about our voice. Like, that maybe we should stop using it. Okay, so what? is this all the same? The rest of it is all the same? This morning, I kept okay, getting yeah. these horrible visions. It's all the same, right? That's basically what happened. Y'all, I wanted justice. I wanted justice. I didn't get it. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for hanging out with me tonight. Last YouTube stream of the year. Heard. Dobby's in the chat. Um, like I said, well, we'll be doing a stream on Twitch New Year's Eve. Um, bring your libations if you're 21 and up. Um, go follow me on Twitch if you haven't already and turn on notifications so you know when it happens. It'll probably be too reckless of a stream to do on YouTube. That's why I'm doing it on Twitch. Um, if you can't make it, I hope y'all have a wonderful New Year's. I hope that you're safe. And I will see you next year, YouTube. I will see you next year. I love you, Grace Quine.